are saying your pumpkin emotes are gone this is so sad this is the saddest thing ever this is so interesting though this is my first time streaming on the youtube the youtube the one and only youtube.com and it's actually dot com it's not dot tv which i would constantly say twitch.tv.com so it's it's a little easier in that respect voices of the void time <laughs> we're, we're gonna be talking about food we're gonna be talking about food um there's no chat behind me also. I, I gotta figure that out at some point. You can click on the little hearts. Every time I try to, it takes me to another page, so I, I can't do that right now. Does Seth guy look sus? Wait, is Seth here? Good luck, Seth. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I think I was supposed to send an email about YouTube analytics or algorithm. I don't remember. I'm, it'll be fine. I'll, I'll figure that out later. You don't need to worry about living. You just need to live. That's what I've figured out. You need to live as a person every day of your life. Yeah. We're gonna eat food, and we're gonna live as a person every day of our life. That's what we're gonna do. This is Regania? Whoa, you're a different person now. Hello, congratulations on, um, being Reginald. Is that like a- is that like a general, or is that like what they usually call generals? Or it, it sounds like a real name, but it also sounds like a title. I don't have any music on. You guys want some music? Let's look up copyright free music you can use on YouTube. Yo! Copyright free music you can use on YouTube. Now I know why everyone has the same six songs when they're in a corporation. Here we go. All right. Twitch and streamer friendly? That sounds good. Hope that this is a good song. Oh, this is 11 hours of different music, so that's probably okay, actually. I, I don't think we're going to run out at this point. This... this is music. Enjoy the music. This is music. Yeah. Hidden that drum. Getting that little snare in there. Yeah. I don't actually know what a snare is, so I hope it's what we're hearing. Rare YouTube stream? No, it will not be rare. I figured if I go over here, I figured if I go over here, we can have smaller streams again. And I, um, I love that you guys have all been coming by my Twitch. And it's been wonderful, but I'm I'm not the smartest person, and I can no longer like read everything you say. So this is this has been very nice. I can read most of what you say here. Speedwagon, yo! That's my father, my 3D father. Yes, my 3D father. Welcome, hello there. Welcome to YouTube. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. He only has one bo oh has only one bottle of hot sauce to eat. Look, I actually have three, but this is my personal hot sauce. This is my Grimmy wants to kill you hot sauce. There's no link anywhere where you can buy this, I realize, but I... It's a secret. It's a secret. My hot sauce business is a secret here. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, yeah. How is Gaspar? Still upset with me. Um, slams his door whenever we, uh, see each other. That's fair. Grimmy, uh, stop, uh... What's cappin'? You aren't reading this. Please tell me what capping is, but I'd like to know. Um, welcome to YouTube. Thank you very much, Trevor. Welcome to YouTube as well, if this... ...is your first day on YouTube. That's probably not... ...right, or accurate. But what if it were? What if it were? Would that not be amazing? It would be lovely! Oh my goodness. Grimmy sauce? Yeah, I have my own hot sauce company. But you won't know what it is. I'll never tell. I'll never tell. Everyone in that manages me probably wants to shoot me right now, so I'm gonna stop that joke uh, and move on immediately. I'll never tell. I'll never- okay, that's it. Capping means lying. I can see what you guys are typing now, though. Love to watch a cute thing while betting on if I'll game- Oh, Buckshot Roulette. Oh my goodness, Buckshot Roulette looks so good. I haven't played that yet. Cute thing- you mean Skelter? Skelter's so cute. I love him. Ooh. Ooh. Skelter's so wonderful. He's my little guy. 
YouTube the small website. We're, we're on the indie website, YouTube. It hasn't blown up yet. No, Fuzzy. It's a secret. It's a secret. I don't know how YouTube works, but I kind of like it, actually, because it's... <laughs> this is gonna sound so messed up, but I think there's, like, a lag in chat, so, like... It's been way easier to talk to you guys! <laughs> like, there's, like, a 20-second delay or something, so it's kind of, like, a little bit healthier for me. My brain moves too fast. Hi from Twitch! Oh, hello, Mama! How are you? I hope you're doing well. And hello, about Sim! How are you? That's an indie game developer right there, everyone. An indie game developer. Hi from Twitch to YouTube, though. Hi, though! I'm usually a Twitch streamer. I'm on YouTube today, and I'd like to do a YouTube stream every week. Maybe every day. Until my body collapses from overwork, and I go to the hospital. I actually don't want to do that. Never mind. There is a delay. There is indeed a delay. We're- we're on a different- we're in a different world. It's gonna be a little bit different here. I don't exactly know 100% how different it is, but I'm gonna find out over time. I've only watched corporation VTubers on YouTube, so... As an indie with like, um... I guess like a management company, but we don't really like all- hang out all the time- We hang out a lot of the time, though. But like, as like a- I don't know, it's a little different. So this is- this is a new- a new- I don't know... Land. And I- I intend to, uh, hide here. So this is gonna be great. Oh, they built in delay. What? DVR creates another delay. Oh, what? So you might be super behind. Oh, I'm sorry. And then they speed up the removal of the cyst. Uh, that's... It's gonna take a little bit. I don't know if you guys are familiar with brain surgeons, but they are not the most freely available types. So every time you want to meet with one of them, it takes a while. So, you can't really do too much until next month. Niji v Shoujo and Hala, watch out. Saucy Corp is, Saucy Corp is on the rise. I don't think that'll happen. But I'm very happy to be here. It's kind of nice. It's a little quieter. Secret Grimmy hideout? Don't tell anyone. You're a new fan? What's up? Hello! Welcome to... YouTube.com Welcome. This is your first day on YouTube. I'm so glad to see you. Alright, kids, so... Now I'm gonna have to introduce you to a few, a few very intense concepts. When you're on YouTube, there's some very scary videos out there. Now I know you love watching ants eat watermelon in time lamps, but that'll eventually get your YouTube recommendations real messed up. I don't know if they want me to talk about that here, probably not. The cyst gives character? I'm gonna get it um, removed eventually. I'm gonna be way smarter. I'm gonna remember what I'm doing each day. Is the YouTube stream gonna be like the same day each week? Oh, that would, that's a good idea actually, maybe Friday. Because, like, the thing is, on Friday, all of my friends are streaming! All of my friends are streaming on Twitch on Friday, so I don't really like stream streaming over them. Like, everyone I know streams on Friday, so I don't want to be like, Oh my god, me too! Oh my god, me too! Watch me! Oh my god. So this is kind of nice. Like, I won't be- I won't be cutting into their- their slice of the pie. That's- that's kind of cool. She made the indie YouTube joke again? It's a small and tiny corporation. We need to be very kind to YouTube. Actually, like... I don't know, I assume that YouTube is also having that problem where they have 800,000 people to support. <laughs> More than that, actually. Several million. Maybe even, like, close- not a billion, but several million. The answer is to collab on Fridays. That's a good idea, honestly. If you move the synth, will they let you keep it in the jar? They have not been very receptive to my, uh, queries about in any way, shape, or form keeping anything related to the cyst or, like, my brain juices. They aren't happy about that. I don't think I would be either. Cozy Nero, well... You little bitch. Sorry for cursing. Cozy Nero was torturing Grape and Clavio and Barry and me yesterday, so I had to get that out. Sorry. Um, we did Lethal Company with Crowd Control. And I don't think anyone thought that we could see the log of it. And you guys were little mother flippers. A lot of you were. A lot of you were. Can the guinea pigs deliver hot sauce? Oh, I would hope so. I love guinea pigs. Everyone wants a brain juice hot sauce. It will never occur. Ever. I'm not gonna make a brain juice hot sauce. We have a lot of good flavors coming up, though. I hope you guys enjoy them. It'll be neat. You're lucky, Nero. I can't shout you out. Oh, yeah, wait. We can't shout people out here? That's so sad. What, tissue samples? I wish I could get tissue samples. Well, I have an arachnoid cyst, so what they would probably do is they'd probably, like, snip it a few times and suture it so, like, the, like, juice just kind of hangs out in the, like, skull. 
I don't know, it's kind of neat. What a curse word! The B word is very intense. It's funniest when women use it to refer to other, like, to, like, fellas, though, I feel like. Because, like, if it's just, like, a someone else referring to a lady, it's like... Unless it's two ladies, like, oh my god, bitch, you look amazing, oh my god, that's so good. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to curse on YouTube, I forgot they hated that, sorry. This is, like, the only time I've cursed, too. Oh, flip, that sucks. Ah, whatever. It's okay. It's fine. You mainly lurked because you were Please feel free to lurk. Please feel free to lurk. Please feel free to lurk. Let's see some screenshots? Of the cyst? Oh, sure. I have this one. I'm waiting for, like, the MRI, but I got the CT scan. The MRI has to come in the mail because they do not just let you have a scan of it. Like, they can't email it to you because they're just like, No, this is top secret information. People can identify you based on the shape of your brain. If uh, one of the doctors helping me is watching the stream, I hope I die. <laughs> that sounds messed up, but I, I don't want that to be the case. Here we go. Yo. Yo. Oh, it's after 10 minutes you can curse? Oh, nice. My family-friendly stream, I'm sorry. But this is my brain. That's the part of my brain that's uh, compressing. I'll make it even bigger, in fact. Look at that. That's not good. That's not good. For the YouTube audience, you aren't familiar with my brain. You can physically see it here. I can also show you, like, the weird program where you can see it, like, slice by slice. I just have to make sure I don't show the parts where you can see my name, otherwise I'll die. There you go. There you go, slice by slice. Slice by slice. That would be hilarious. Getting doxxed by your brain scan would be pretty funny, though. It would be pretty funny. I like it, though. It's not good, but it's not the worst. And as you can see, it's kind of smooshing things. And if it's smooshing things, doctors are not happy about that. It's hopefully not growing. But if it is... You have to just keep going. You want me to edit it out? No, no, it's more that, um... Okay. When you get a scan of, like, your brain, or, like, pretty much any other part of your body, what you have to go do is you have to go talk to the hospital and request a copy of it, and they will send you a physical disk of it, because they cannot email it to you and they cannot hand it to you. So, that's what I had to do, and then on that disk, there's a program you can load up, and then it shows you slice by slice by slice by slice of your brain, but on that program it also has your real name on every frame of it, so... I could get a different picture of it if you guys are like, oh my god, this is fake, oh my god, she's so fake. I could get a different picture of it from like a different slice and show you consistently. But if I load up the program, it would be a little... I don't want you guys to kill me and know who I am and kill me. I really don't want that. That would be kind of, that would be kind of upsetting to me. But let me, let me get rid of that. That's, that's, that's the past. We're in the future. Are you going to cut it? What? They're probably gonna do something where they, um, they don't cut out arachnoid cysts, they kind of, like... They used to put, like, a little thing in your brain, it looked horrifying. You can screenshot it and use that to avoid the docs info. Yeah, exactly, that's what I did with this one, but... They used to put, like, a little tiny tube in your brain between, like, the cyst and, like, your brain. And if that were to happen to me, I would live every moment of my life in fear for the rest of my life. I would, I would wake up and be terrified. <laughs> I would go to sleep terrified. There would be no other option for me. It would just be like that every day of my life. So, what they do now is that they kind of... Yeah, a shunt. That's what it's called. I do not want one of those. No one should want one of those. That doesn't sound fun. It would be... No, 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 no. It would not. I've memorized your brain wrinkles. We will fight you. <laughs> Congratulations. Good for you, honestly. I'll, I'll kill you, though. I have a gun. If you, like, show up at my house, I'll shoot you. I'm just letting you know. Um, this is- this is for the FBI and police. Um, I do not want to murder anyone, but if anyone does show up here, I will take it as a threat. And I will kill you. Just letting you know. Or I'll try not to kill you, I'll, but I might accidentally shoot you in the junk. That happens really often when I play video games, and that's not a good way to... Anyways, uh, what was I gonna say? Anyways, the shunt that goes in your brain. I don't want that. But what they do now is they kind of go in there, and they make a little hole, and then they go... Kind of gross, but like they... They snip at the edge of like the cyst in a few places, and then they suture it so it won't grow back together. And it sounds really gross, but the sutures dissolve eventually, and then you just have like a brain cyst, like kind of like flap of skin, I guess? Or like flap of tissue from like the cyst, and that's what happens. <laughs> that's what happens when that happens. 
It's gonna not be fun, but it's a lot better than having a little tiny object in your brain for the rest of your life, so... To self-defense things, exactly. Go ahead. See if you can take me out after I'm recovering for surgery. I'll have a loaded... I'll have a deagle right next to me. At all times. I'll have a loaded deagle. Right next to me at all times. I don't think that's possible, actually. I don't know if, how many guns are legal where I live, so... It might be legal, I'm not sure. I'll have a deagle either way. I'll have a deagle either way. Don't forget the bald spot. Oh, I am gonna have a bald spot on my head. That sucks. No! I don't like that. I'm, I'm happy they don't have to shave your entire head now, though. Like, I've looked it up. They only shave, like, a little patch of it. The bald spot is gonna get bigger. How dare you? No. Don't say that to me. Don't say that to a woman ever. That's evil. You are an evil person. Why would you do that? Hot. You're into ladies that get brain surgery. That's... I don't know about that, fella. Um, do you plan on showing your Flork model? Very good question. Very good question. We should immediately move on from that, that person that's very into women that have had brain surgery. Yes, we're moving on. Everyone, please check out my... This was made by a famous artist, by the way. I, I guess this one was also... Like, this model was made by a famous artist as well, but, um... Like, they're very popular. But, uh, but this one was also made by a famous artist. Are you ready? I'm about to show you my other model. This was made by a famous artist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. There you go. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. We don't have to talk- We don't have to keep talking about how I'm gonna be bald for a little bit. No, we don't have to do that. There we go. Hi, Megs. What's up? Oh, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. But here we go. Are you familiar with Fork of- Ignore that little gap that I didn't notice until now. Are you familiar with- <laughs> Flork of cows. Flork of cows. Also, I am on YouTube. Flork of cows, the world famous artist starting his own VTuber company, which I am um, unaffiliated with besides his beautiful model that he chose to give me. Yeah. This is a one of a kind Flork model. The rigging is so precise that you actually see a white background around it. It's moving every second, creating an almost force field-like effect. It's really beautiful. Beautiful to see this type of work. How do we activate V3 bald mo- I'll just- Alright. Okay. Okay, you know what? Alright, here. But now that we've- now that we've seen this amazing model. Now that we've seen this amazing model, let me, um... Let me come back. Yep. Yep. So this is what it'll, uh... This is what it'll be like. One frame per second? Is that good or bad? No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, 60 frames per second is the good one. Yeah. So this is, uh... I don't mind being bald. I think it's cool. I think it's lovely. I think it's a little bit uncomfortable for you, but not for me. No, I'm very happy here. Yeah, look. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Did you just put Llama Broski in your name? I knew who you were already, Llama. Uh, but thank you for, for doing that. Um, there you go. I haven't had the cyst removed, but this is a- this is a manifestation of the haunted house that I live in. Yes, it's letting me show you and project what I'll eventually look like. Well, so you can see I have ears. That's kind of not as apparent, usually, because I have a lot of hair. But... All right, gonna toggle that off. Gonna stop using the cult magic for it. Yeah, there we go. Grandma Grimmy, how many of your grandmas are bald? Is that normal? Wait, what? Do you lose all of your hair when you get older? I don't want that. I wanted to have hair when I was older. I've kind of been losing hair recently, but I think that was related to my health problems. So, your head is so bright. Thank you. Oh my God, thank you. That's so kind of you. Art, real estate. Art. Oh yeah, you could put stuff on your head if you have that. Do you know if people pay like $5,000 to like... ...put advertising on some people's foreheads? It's kind of messed up, actually. It's not a wig. It was a simple illusion. You saw an illusion. Bring out the oil. We're... No. 
No, no one's gonna oil my head, though. No one gets to slap it or oil it. Actually, if you slap my head, I could die if it ruptures, so we're not gonna do that. I really wanted to get into competitive slap fighting for a while, but that that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen for a while. Grimmy, did you not know what old age is? Do you lose all of your hair in old age? I thought, like, your hair just gets white so you can dye it easier. Like, that's kind of important to me. I don't know. You're cancer-free? I am! I only have an arachnoid cyst. I am 100% benign, and I hope that all of you guys are too. And if I hope- I hope that if you're struggling with that, you feel better soon, because that's rough. Is there a barcode on the back of your head? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And you don't need to worry about that. You just saw an illusion. You saw an illusion. Yeah. I have hair. I have beautiful hair all the time. Mm-hmm. Play, play tic-tac-toe on it. Okay, you guys are very focused on the, the bald thing. Um... You guys are very focused on the bald thing. It's an illusion. An illusion. Usually becomes thinner, at least? Oh, that's so sad. We need to start researching this for old people. We need to, like, start splicing their genetics so they can have... Oh. I guess that's what you need to do to babies, actually. They're... We're all messed up. We're not gonna have, like, flowing locks when we're older. This is so sad. It's only babies that might be able to, like, pull through. Oh, they can be mean. I know who I am. I have beautiful, beautiful hair. It's okay. There was that one Subway sandwich offer where they would give you a free sandwich for life if you got the Subway logo tattooed on your back. They better be holding to that because I feel like these days they would not do that. Oh my god. I would have done that. How, do, how big did it need to be? How big did it need to be? In this economy, I do that immediately. I do that right now. Subway. I will put a Subway sticker on my face for the next year. If you give me free sandwiches for life, please, 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 I'm begging you, I'm begging you, please, please, if you know a Subway representative, please. What kind of food are you thinking of? Thank you so much. Uh, Chokotaku, Chokotaku. Oh, like otaku, but you love chocolate. That's cute. Um, Chokotaku, we weren't thinking about chocolate, but we could. Thank you for getting us on track. Because I would have spent the next hour talking about miscellaneous stuff that didn't really matter. I'm looking for a normal and human VTuber. Oh, that's me. I'm a human. I'm a human. I'm, I'm a human VTuber. It's rare, but I'm a human VTuber. It's rare, but you found one. I am not a ghost. I am not a demon. I am not a professional of any kind, really, either. But I am a human and a paranormal investigator. Subway footlong cookie churros. I want the subway footlong cookie. I wanted to send one of that to my friends in Australia. She was confused and kind of weirded out, though, I think. Um, I can't say go check her out. She's not on YouTube. This is so sad. But I have you guys. It's okay. Even if, like, most of my streamer buddies aren't here. You guys are here. This is cool. Are you normal? Every VTuber is really weird. But I think in terms of VTubers, I'm about the same level. I think... Actually, that's not true. I think... VTubers don't, like... Hmm... VTubers don't, like, pretend to be... <laughs> VTubers don't pretend to be normal. Every person you've encountered is insane. How do I redeem Southerner voice? Oh, Hoonie, I'm so sorry. I don't have that as a redemption, but we're just gonna have to start talking like this. Okay. <gasps> chocolate is good. <gasps> you want milk chocolate or dark or white chocolate kind of person? Well, I'm allergic to dairy. I know. Even though I have this accent, you'd think I would take that, get that taken care of, but I usually have oat milk chocolate. And it's gotten much better in the time that I've been alive. That's a good segue over to what we're gonna be talking about today. You know what I realized? You know what I realized? I don't know. Let me let me go over here. Actually, let me um. Oh, Skelter, you wanna you wanna you wanna go get us some uh some Taco Bell after this? Okay, he's gonna go get us some Taco Bell. You go have a good time, Skelter. Okay, Skelter's gonna go get us some Taco Bell, and I'm just gonna come over here. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then we're gonna come on over here. Yes, there we are. All right. Oatmeal chocolate sounds good. It's pretty darn good these days. Okay, so um the mother voice redeem. Well. I don't know if I need to do that right now. None of you guys are acting real upset or anything. You go do your homework, though, if you have been avoiding your homework. Otherwise, I'm gonna be real upset with you. It just won't be me. Everyone will be real upset with you. But that's a good segue. So what I realized is, um... Let me, let me put these up, too. 
These just went on sale on Amazon before they were being scalped, and I was very upset. They were they were very expensive on Amazon, and I was ready to kill the people that were trying to sell them there because they were pre they were preventing me from getting them. Okay, here we go. So this is okay. This is the type of chocolate I eat. Here you go. Here you go. This is the type of chocolate I eat. Oh. <gasps> They made Lindor truffles that are vegan. Can you believe that? Vegan Lindor truffles. So if you if you can't eat milk because you'll feel like you're gonna die, um, or cheese or whatever have you, you can now have Lindor truffles. Linden. They're those little tiny orbs. Oh, they're so good. They're delicious. I love it. Southern Green. Oh, thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that. Is it expensive? They're Linden truffles, so they are a bit expensive. They are a bit expensive because they're those little truffles. These are $7.99 because they are Linden truffles. They are usually about this expensive. That's a shame. I know. I know. They're a little bit expensive. Right now, the strawberry ones, strawberry like white chocolate, like little gourmet crunched ones, those are $14.59. Can you believe that? That's disgusting. That's disgusting to me as a person. But Linden chocolate is way too sweet for me. That is very fair as well. They load that stuff up with sugar. They load that stuff up with sugar. That's the only thing got scalped. How dare you, little demon. But they load those up with sugar, so, yeah, it's not the best for you. Like, if you have, like, really good, like, Swiss chocolate and stuff, it tastes completely different, apparently. Oh, like, man. Having, like, having, like, really well handmade chocolate tastes amazing. You sound like you're on QVC? What's QVC? Let me look that up. Oh, if that's, like, a slur or, like, a weird thing, I did not mean to say that. I don't know, like, 90% of, like, a television network? Oh, because I was talking like this. Everyone, thank you so much for coming by. We're going to start... What is the... What do they put on this? What is this website? How did you find out about this? Are you the only person in existence that knows what QVC is? What are they... Is this, like... What are they selling? What is this? They just sell miscellaneous things that you already know about for more money. This is an old person website. You might be a bit of an old person. That's okay, though. Like, I'm not gonna... No one knows what QVC is. You could be, like, 39 and not know what QVC is. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. It's a home shopping network. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, I understand. I understand. Sorry. I didn't know what it was, so I thought you were really weird. That's... That's a shame. I'm very sorry about that. I didn't mean to start shaming you in front of all these people. I'm very out of touch. I'm very out of touch. Um, I know the Home Shopping Network is a interesting concept that no longer really exists anymore. Like, it's it's very rare that you find people that are like, Oh my god, I got this off the Home Shopping Network. Now it's like, everything is on the internet. I don't need you. I will never need you again. Okay, but let's, let's do that. So everyone, today we have a beautiful, beautiful, dairy-free Lindent Lindor Truffle. Now these are irresistibly smooth. They are made of oat milk. Yes, oat milk. And there are two different types of flavors. There's red and there's blue. And there is the discernible difference between the two. You're out of touch. I'm out of time. That sounds like a very cool, like, quote. You're out of touch. I'm out of time. That's neat. It's a boomer TV channel. Except it's just one of... Oh, on endless commercials. That's so sad. We need to get them away from there. Oh, we can't do polls on YouTube? That sucks, really? Oh, I'm sorry. Hello, hello, you're- Oh, that's so nice of you, Joey. I appreciate that. I'm from Twitch. I'm- I'm- I'm on YouTube for the first time. It's like being in a different universe. I don't think I'm- I don't think I'm fitting into, like, YouTuber culture. Like, they usually have, like, beautiful backgrounds and stuff, and I'm just like, I'm gonna show you different food till I forget what I'm doing, which is gonna be every two seconds. Uh, is there anything I'm supposed to be doing? Gamer Sups has a new type of powder that makes it so you go to sleep instead of, uh, stay awake forever. So, you can make bowls? Oh, we can do that. We're gonna figure that out at some point. You don't know how- Okay, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna do it eventually. But, where did your radio go? Well, I went over to this black terrifying screen so we could put more stuff up here. Everyone? It feels weird here? Hi, Toki. Hi, Toki. It is weird here. Welcome. Welcome. Out of touch Thursdays meme, but it's a Friday. Oh my goodness gracious. You can, but I think you have to make a pull. Okay, I have to do it. 
that's gonna make it much harder. I'm only gonna have to pull you guys if I'm asking something really intrusive and weird, so... But, here we go. The shaker is already sold out? What? No! I wanted that! Wait, are the pajama pants sold out? Wait, one second. Oh, my coat is grimy. I, I don't remember to advertise it. I just annoy the people that work there into giving me stuff, usually. If you buy something from there, they'll be slightly less annoyed with me. Um, but you don't have to. So, okay. No! They sold out of the pants! No! No! Sorry. Calming down. They sold out of the pants, though. The sleepy ladies are- The sleepy- Can I use the B word? The sleepy bitches are so cute. Oh my god. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Why are they doing this to me? How could you do this to me? Re-release her. Okay, I, I need to turn this off. I'm acting weird. Um... I wanted them- They're cute! Like, this one was really cute! The Dockies, too?! <laughs> These little- I'm very happy to all the people... ...that got to enjoy them. Subs drops go within the first few hours. They either go within the first few hours, or they hang around for, like, months. It's impossible to predict. Well... This- This was a sleepy woman with a big behind, so actually it's kind of stupid that I would ever assume that it would be there for more than ten minutes. That's dumb of me. All the merch sold out- That's so sad! Oh. Oh, uh, I have pastel melon merch. This is so weird. Am I allowed to advertise on YouTube? Could they, like, kill me? Am I allowed to talk about the sweaters I have? I might be breaking the law. Uh. Ha. Uh, don't, don't listen to me. I never said anything. Don't report me to the police. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm doing. Please don't do that. You have to choose. Ramen palette or sleepy woman? Sleepy woman. Mmm. The ramen palette would annoy everyone I live with. And everyone in my life for the rest of, like, all of time. Like, if you ever have someone come over, they'd just be like, Why do you have that much ramen in your house? And you'd be like, Because, because it's cool. Would you like some ramen? And they'd be like, No, not really. It's, like, it's okay. And you'd be like, No, please, please, have, have a few, like, have a few cups of it. Oh, you get demonetized. Oh, wait, chilling is fine? You said demonetized! I believed you, Raven! <laughs> I believed you! believed you okay here you can i'm gonna show you anyway whatever you can get me arrested i'm not from here i'm from twitch.tv.com.com i do like that it's just youtube.com because i'm really stupid and i say that each and every time all right take a look at this oh thank you so much huh 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 uh my twitch alerts are still on Thank you, Kuru. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Thank you, Verdant Bunny. This is bad. Wait, wait. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Thank you so much, Gaming Bleach, for gifting two subs. I appreciate that. Okay, that makes more sense. Thank you very much, Gaming Bleach. Um, Gaming Bleach has gifted two subs for a very long time. So that's very funny that you did it even while I'm here. That's very kind of you. I appreciate that. Let me let me show you this though. I have a really delicious rum and raisin cheesecake to show you. And thank you again, Gaming Bleach. What if you could VOD review life? I don't want to think about 90% of the stuff I've done in my life. I'm sorry. Um, I could turn off the Twitch. I'm not going to turn it off. That's I don't, I'm going to have to turn it off late. Turn it back on later. I'm going to forget. So we're going to have to stick with it. All right. Let me show you something, though. Let me show you something. This is... Ta-da! This is kind of like I have debut merch, actually. It's- This is my debut merch! <gasps> this is my debut merch. <gasps> this is my debut merch now! Yes! Oh my goodness gracious! It's my debut merch! You can't prove otherwise! I will say you're lying, even though you're being correct! I would- I would be- That would actually be horrible! I shouldn't gaslight you! Hi, Jinji! Yes, this is my debut stream. Yeah, there are very few, like, YouTube emotes, but you know what? They're- they're just starting, uh, kind of. Yeah, but you know what? I'll, I'll take it. This is my debut merch. I am debut- Why couldn't I send it? I am debuting as a VTuber. And this is my debut merchandise. This is from pastelmelon.com. I- Uh, how do I pin- It's just gonna be here for a second. I only see a dark void. I'm gonna put stuff there eventually. But, um, speaking of which, I should probably do that right now. Thank you. Uh... Thank you for the backup. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. This is my debut merch, and I'm going to show you the graphics for it. So this is one of them. This is this is really cool. I'm really happy about these. So 
This is my debut merch again. Debut, debut merch. I'm debuting my merch for my debut stream. Oh my goodness. How high does your- or low can your voice go? Uh, I- I can do a lot of different voices. I've trained for a really long time. So this is a my little buddy, Skelter. And I- I've lived in a cursed haunted mansion for... A hundred years, I think? Well, it wasn't always cursed or haunted. It was, that's like a- That was like 90 years. It's not that bad. Such a professional debut. Thank you! My interests are... Thank you so much, Baker Cookie, for subscribing. I appreciate that. Let me make sure it was actually you. I have to go and do this now. Is that? Wait. What? Oh, Big. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to 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 that person. Okay. Um, pastel. Yes. One of my friends looked like one of the creatures on these shirts I'm about to show you, and in response, when they pointed that out, the creator of the shirts edited them out of the graphic. <laughs> Which I thought was the most passive-aggressive and crazy thing they could do. But that was awesome. Um, this is also something on the- Oh, look! The back background will actually help, because, uh, this- This is transparent, so it has to be on a black background. This is all for a reason. I'm smart. I'm smart. There we go. Here we go. This is one of the designs for the new shirts from Pastel Melon. I like it. It's like a comic page, and you see me picking up an axe and talking about how there are monsters, so I'm pretty used to them. I laughed so hard- I did too! I felt so bad for Hazmat, though! Why are people saying Omegaverse? Should I be worried? Will YouTube let me talk about that? Or will that get me demonetized? Um... Okay, when... When I... When I, um... When a woman loves... Looking at men very much. I'm gonna explain this in PG-13 terms. I hope that's okay. That looks like a perfect waifu gamer subs cup design. I don't sell a lot of gamer subs, so they... <laughs> they are just annoyed with me always asking for really weird st Anyway, uh, so... When a man, uh, when a woman loves to see a man physically, but not, they don't want to be with them themselves, like in a very. Uh, oh, oh, blah, 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 blah. hello, YouTube. Oh, YouTube, YouTube. Thank you so much for subscribing, and I will see who did that in a moment. Um, when a woman loves a man. Very much, but doesn't want to be with them at all, and, uh, is kind of just like, that's cool, but like, I don't- I don't love that. Also, yeah, I- I really- I don't know, like, it's just- and whatever. Llama, thank you for gifting a sub to that person. But anyways, they feel like that, like, um... They sometimes wonder what that dude... would look like... Uh, if they were getting impregnated? And so the Omegaverse was born. Because they wanted, um... Oh, it is hi, YouTube. I thought it was YouTube. Uh, anyways, um, they wanna... Women, when they're on the internet for too long, become terrifying creatures. You guys might be familiar with this. They become really weird, really quickly, so... I bought two of those shirts already. Thank you so much, Big. I hope you enjoy them. I- I bought- I bought one of the shirts, and I bought all of my friends. I could've bought my three, but I wanted Clavio and Berries and Alfinas, because they have really cute designs, too. If you guys have checked those out, like, please check them out. I walk into Empreg. There's a joke there somewhere. Like... Walking into a bar. You walked into... Anyway, um, I'm gonna clip that. Thank you very much for, for doing that, Sky. I hope that you do. Well, I don't remember what I said. I hope it's so informative. Okay, it was about the Omegaverse. Oh, God. Anyways, so... Women get really weird on the internet if they're there for too long. And... There's not a lot of... Uh, material aimed at women when it comes to them wanting to see those sexy fellows they like so much. Learning so much in the short amount of time. Yep. Yep. Oh, I'm just being explanatory for everyone new. Um... Okay. And so, the Omegaverse uh, is a way for women to... 
get to see their favorite male characters getting impregnated. And there's a whole system surrounding it and like a whole lore. It's honestly kind of interesting. So if you have Omega in your name, you're who hearted that? Don't don't heart that. Don't heart that. Um, okay, but um But it's okay. There's not a lot of material aimed at ladies that want to see sexy fellows, so they started getting really weird and they've decided that they want to see those fellas going at it and they want to see one of them pregnant so they took the dynamics of the alpha beta omega like wolf stuff and they have gone hot and heavy with please stop hearting this dear god oh my god oh my goodness okay well um i'm explaining it i am explaining it okay okay rune i'm explaining it so hi glory hole you got your name back congratulations they haven't got you here this is the YouTube debut stream. We've got to address these topics up front. Honestly, you need to know. Because the thing is, here's the thing. You might be thinking, like, I don't want to see men get pregnant. But did you know Fujoshi are one of the most sought-after class of ladies of all time? Because, like, the thing is, like, you could go out with, like, a lady who's very pretty and very wonderful, and she might not like all of your anime. Or you could go out with a lady that loves every single anime you like. Uh... But you're occasionally gonna have to see, like, Amuro or Char or Naruto pregnant. That's... It's just the way of the world. There's trade-offs, there's pros and cons for everything. Filter out the weak? Exactly. Exactly. You can look up the Omegaverse, though I don't think you should. Um, anyways, humans go into, like, heat and, like, they get impregnated by, like, the other guys. And, like, there's also ladies in that universe. It, it's, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. Um, what a great time to join. Nope. 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 Anyways, um, or Sonic. Yes, yeah, Sonic is also in there. Though I think they were impregnating him before the Omegaverse. They've been impregnating Sonic for a long time. Stop 100%ing that. Um, don't do that. A lesbian is not a Fuji- A lesbian that's not a Fuji is like an angel without their wings. There are a lot of lesbian Fujoshis. That is very true. There are a ton of them. And they just- they just love to see, like- what? Stop! Okay, f I, I don't like these little emotes I can see saying- Oh, this is scary. Are they not all guys? Oh, no, no. The thing is, Fujoshis are almost always ladies. They want to see fellas get hot and heavy. I myself am not a Fujoshi, though everyone assumes I am. I... I'm very happy for the people where you just get joy from, like, looking at two guys, like, going at it. Good for them. Like, honestly. Why not? Good for them. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Did you know that there was actually... This is the game you came to see. Thank you, Jane. Um, but did you know? Did you know? There. Talking about food. We're almost at the food! Okay, we're almost at the food. This is the, uh, this is the pre-chat. There's now our pre-chat. This is, this is normal. There's now our pre-chat. And I switched off of my background, so there's nothing behind me. Yep, this is how it goes. Um, what is X? What is X? I don't know what X means at all. You're, you're confusing me. Okay, that's fine. But look, Fujoshi ladies, they had like this dating service where they had a bunch of Fujoshis and they had a bunch of nerdy guys. I think this is Japan. They set up this dating service and they immediately had to end it because every Fujoshi got snapped up in like a week and they could not find women to replace them. So Fujoshi are a hot commodity. If you're like, oh my God, I would hate them. Like think, of it, think a little deeper. You'd probably enjoy them. You'd probably like them a lot. You just need some time. You just need some time. What it do, Fuzzy? I have no idea. X for doubt. Oh, X, they're shipping people. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Okay, look. Food, though. Food. We're gonna talk about food. Alright, so I'm doing a stream tomorrow on, like, Twitch, though. So I guess, like, most people are gonna miss this pre stuff, and most people are gonna miss the other stream on Twitch. So this is actually the worst place to do it. But I wanted to see what you guys eat and look up a bunch of different recipes and look up a bunch of different food. And then tomorrow, we're gonna look into how to make recipes really cheap. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. Because, I, But I want to start making food at home, because now it is $27, it feels like, for a meal at a mid-range chain. It is going crazy. In America. And probably everywhere else, because if things are expensive here, it means everything's kind of expensive other places, too. Usually, at least. In America. You need to play L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir sounds really good. I'll blow up into smithereens and spew my tiny symphonies. I like that song. It's cute. 
They're ref it's refreshed. They're, refer they're referring to, I think, Xbox, Xbox button. Oh, a Rockstar game called L.A. Noir. Oh, press extra doubt. Now I got it. $27? Yikes. It's pretty bad right now. Costco is your friend? I do have a Costco membership. Though I use it like once a year, so... Oh, is Mikey doing good? Okay. One of the kittens. Uh, I use it like once a year, so I think that kind of like... Makes it so I don't really benefit from the cost of like getting into Costco. I don't know. It doesn't matter though. I'll keep doing it. <laughs> it don't matter. I'm stupid. I'm gonna keep doing that until I die. I will never let go of my Costco membership because I feel special and important. I'm going to be honest with you. Being a Costco card holder and having people go like, Oh my god, you have a Costco card? We can go to Costco? Oh no, I don't want to go. But like, that's so cool. We could go to Costco. Oh my god, we should go next week. And then we don't? That's so worth it. That's worth it for me. I love it. Glad to finally catch you. Hello, Claymore. This is my YouTube debut stream. I did not finish talking about the shirts. I swear I can do a little better than this, but uh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, so this is... This is the one that I quite enjoy. This is the... They did two different designs. They look kind of similar, but I, I quite like this one. Let me, let me show you. So this is the back of a hoodie. Oh, if I... This is gonna be gigantic. Let me, let me adjust this and... What did I... No, not setting. Studio. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm amazed nothing's broken yet. This is... This is a home run for me. If you think this is going poorly, you have no idea how bad I usually am at this stuff. Here you go. This is the other design. I think this one's very cute. I got the sweater just because I don't usually wear hoodies, but I think this one's very cute. I think it's adorable. Skelter. I'm holding Skelter. Oh, Skelter, I hope they're gonna talk about how long well it's gonna take. That thing on top is the one that looks like one of my VTuber buddies on Twitch, Hazmat. And the artist, when they saw them replying, going like, Oh my god, look, it's me, oh my god, edited them out immediately. It was so messed up, it was horrible. I also love the, like, little Beetlejuice, like, tentacle things there. And, like, the hand with the mouth in it. <gasps> and the double mouth going over there. I love it. I love it so much. I love it so much. That's nice. That's that looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I'm so happy you like it. Oh my god, fancy. Oh my god, yes, it's so fancy. Oh my god. Sorry, I pretend to be like a very like snooty lady, but then if I just say those words in a different voice, it doesn't really stop me from being snooty. There's also little skelters on the sleeve. I I love skelters so much. They're my little guy. They helped me survive for a very long time. I love the hand. Thank you. Oh my god, the hand is so cool. Oh my god. This is sick and cool. It's on pastelmelon.com. You... There's no code. Um, the person that made it gave me a code to get a discount, and then I almost said it on stream, and I wanted to die. So, I'm not gonna say anything else. There might be a code, but I don't think there is. I'm not gonna take that risk again. I'm just stupid. I don't- I don't want to do it. You can use code Grimmy on Gamersteps if you want to get some Gamersteps, though. Oh, my voice is awesome? Thank you. Your voice is awesome. I bet it's amazing. I bet, like, you wake up and you're like, Yo, what's up? It's time to meet the day. Or if you're a lady, Oh my god, what's up? It's time to meet the day. Like, this is gonna be so cool. I made you sound kind of, like, ditzy no matter what, so, sorry. You can correct me. I can change it. Was Skelter a manifestation you made when you were young? No, no, no. Skelter's a little cat that I tried to feed. Uh, I think they, like, eat people, though. But, like, I tried to feed them when I was first getting lost in the mansion and we've been best friends ever since and sometimes he brings me like taco bell he's such a nice little guy i love him so much also he makes all my clothes and furniture and stuff i love skelter he's such a good little guy or they or she or i guess there's no concept of like gender where they come from i think they're like a demon or like i don't know the devil but like a good one maybe not the devil maybe like a concept beyond our imagination like from an alternate universe we don't need to think about it uh, Braddy? Oh, oh, you do you mean my brother, Gaspar? Uh, he's not here right now. Like, he's kind of annoying, though. Like, we've been fighting for quite a bit. Uh, I'm not gonna get him today. Maybe he'll come on here at some point. Will any amount of correction help you? Mmm, yes. Right now, everyone has to correct everything I do, or I will make mistakes, because I have been a little bit out of it from the brain stuff. But, it's going okay. I... <laughs> I told you about the hot sauce company I am! I, um, I was very lucky that they are such a nice company. And they have been so kind to me. Barry Gaspar collab? Yes, Barry does want to collaborate with Gaspar. I don't think Gaspar wants to, like, see her, though. So I'm gonna have to just, like, sneak her in and, like, let her in the house while they're hanging out. So, anyways, um... But anyways, uh... I sent the labels for the... 
hot sauce they made to the, like, person that's making all the hot sauce, like, the factory. And they immediately went, like, there's a lot of typos on there. <laughs> Which is really good, because they were- they could have just printed it and been like, Oh, she's annoying, I hate her, I'm just gonna print this. So, that's- that's what happened. Very happy about that, so I have been having a lot of help with correction. Hot sauce for me? I have hot sauce. And it's gonna go on all of my food until the end of time. For me. For me. Although it turns out that I've been losing a sense of, like, smell and, like, my sense of taste for a little bit, maybe unrelated to anything hot sauce related. Um... I came up with a crazy theory that I don't think is true in retrospect. <laughs> and I told this to someone that interviewed me. Uh... I initially thought that, uh... I initially thought that food was getting worse over time. I initially thought that all food was getting... <laughs> I didn't realize I was losing my sense of taste a little. So I thought that all food was just getting worse. <laughs> so I was like, I'll make hot sauce, then we'll have a lot of flavor. We'll have a lot of flavor again because they're making everything out of sawdust. We're making it out of sawdust and plastic these days. We're in America. America. Our food quality's going down in America. Um... And then, uh, then I found out that I had a bunch of brain stuff going on, so I probably just have been losing my sense of, like, taste a little bit. Like, it's not a horrible amount. Like, I'm not in any immediate danger. Yeah, it's probably from the funny zone in my brain. So, um, this hot sauce is still probably good. It probably just has more flavor than I even know. Especially the Grimmy Wants to Kill You one. And the Serrano one people really like. The pineapple one people are a little bit confused with because it's, like, fruity, but I still like it. Hot sauce hypothesis. Yep, I assumed that society had changed and it wasn't a problem with me. It was a problem with society. Society must change. Probably food is maybe getting worse or maybe it's just a taste but diminishing return. It's it's definitely... I. Well, the thing is, I, I just assumed everything tasted worse, which is stupid. Because I assumed every single thing in the world tasted worse. You just joined? Yo. I'm not gonna go back and start talking about things again. You better sit to... I'm sorry, that's rude. Feel free to do whatever you'd like to. I hope you're having a good day. I truly do. Um... Society is incorrect, exactly. No matter what it was, I was just like, This restaurant tastes worse. It must be because of the economy. This restaurant tastes worse. It must be because of the economy. This restaurant tastes worse. It must be because of the economy. And I would eat like half as much food or like a quarter. And I'd be like, yes. It is society. Everyone in the world is having this issue. Which didn't make any sense, because people were still eating food. They didn't just stop eating half their food, but I don't know. Mm. I have juice. There we go. There we go. Companies have also been lower quality- Yeah, that's true though. They have actually been lowering the quality of their ingredients to avoid raising prices. And they've been making everything little. Which I thought was cute. And then they started making everything more expensive and little. And then I got really angry. <laughs> When they started making, like, the the cartons at Trader Joe's slightly smaller, like the orange juice cartons, I thought it was so cute. Didn't you guys? Like, you got little versions of them. They looked like baby cartons of, like, orange juice. And then they started charging, like, $3 more for them, and I was pissed. I don't know. Unless it's KFC, it has gotten worse. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's wrong with KFC? I can't eat there anymore. They used to have a... They used to have vegan chicken like stuff also i'm not a vegan uh i just have a lot of food allergies so i'm a pescatarian i guess but 90 percent of the stuff i eat is vegan or i guess like 99 percent like it's very rare i eat something that's not vegan just because i feel like garbage afterwards grimmy why fast food it's so expensive now and unhealthy no i agree <laughs> terrible actually i'm sorry let's let's at least put something on screen so it looks like we're talking about food this is bad okay here Let's- let's just put Taco Bell on there. But, uh, no, it's- it's honestly getting really expensive. Like, a Taco Bell burrito with, like, just potatoes and, like, beans and rice, fresco style, like, that doesn't have any cheese on it. Or sour cream or anything like that. It's expensive. It's like, um... It's like three bucks now. Three bucks for a small little tiny burrito. Put the guinea pig up? I love the guinea pig. I'll put the guinea pig up. Thank you. That's a good idea. We're gonna have to be like this guinea pig. But let me put, uh, let me put the crunch wrap up first. Was this a vegan crunch wrap? Wait, what was this article? Why does it say it's vegan? <gasps> what? 
Oh, posted in 2023. They gave up on this. They were doing a vegan crunch wrap for a little bit, but society betrayed me again, and they didn't make it. They didn't make this possible. This was a vegan crunch wrap. Take a look. Soak it in. This was a vegan crunch wrap. Soak that in. Now soak in that it will never exist. Disgusting. I miss the days of the $1 bean burrito. Ooh, those were so good. Bring it back. We have to make our own food now. I guess we'll write down bean burrito for something we can make. I'm gonna research how to make cheap food. And then I'm gonna try to make them. And that'll go very poorly. I can already tell you for sure. That's gonna go really poorly. <laughs> Alright, bean burrito. Vegan more like... Regan? Is that like a race or something? Or like an eth ethnicity? Like a nationality? Okay, um, bean burrito. Bean burrito. Okay, there we go. Uh, what's the cream if it's vegan? It's probably like vegan sour cream. They make like a ton of like alternates now. And they used to taste like disgusting, but now they taste okay. I'm gonna be real with you. Like five years ago, vegan stuff tasted like garbage. It was horrible. Everything tasted like cardboard. Everything was just salt. I wanted to die. It wasn't very fun. I hated it. But now, things are getting a lot better. Because a lot of people have issues with cholesterol. So now, I have found better food. <laughs> I have been very happy. Also, hi, Nutchet Michael. These days, I'm tempted to buy fast food just because to avoid- Yes, you want to avoid cooking. You love cooking, can't stand family member to talk 30 minutes straight. Oh. Let me at him. Tell your family member to come here. I'm gonna say, you be nice to Michael. He's had a hard time. He doesn't want to hear about this. He's very scared all the time by your incessant chatter. You be polite. That's what I want to say to them. I'll make that a little video. You can play that vi I'll do ASMR. Telling your, telling your parents to not talk to you while you're trying to make a sandwich in the kitchen. That's a good idea. There we go. There we go. But uh, yeah, we're, we're not gonna have a crunch wrap. You're happy for me? The vegan food actually isn't that bad. There's like a lot of good stuff now, honestly. Oh, hello, Krok. How are you? Oh, you're hungry too. That's perfect. Vegan pizza is always good. They have some good stuff now. It's they had some really bad stuff before, though. Oh my God, they had really bad stuff. Cause they also tried to make everything gluten free before, and they tried to make everything like allergen free, and that was that was hell. <laughs> it was probably healthy, but like it was hell. It was horrible. Like it tasted so gross. Cause like. Gluten-free and vegan, ugh. And then also, like, you can't put any, like, nuts in it, ugh. And then also you can't, like, it, it was just rough. It was just rough. But you know what? They've improved since then. I want to make a sandwich all of a sudden. Make a sandwich. Make a sandwich. Make a sandwich. Make, like, ten sandwiches. Make ten sandwiches. And then eat them throughout the week. They do that, do that, do that, do that. Why not? Actually, not throughout the week. They'll probably spoil and you'll be suffering. Eat, like, three. Make, like, three sandwiches. Yeah. I feel like I have the opposite allergies as you. Can't eat Taco Bell due to legume allergy. Oh no, that's so sad. Legumes are so delicious. So you can't eat peanuts or lentils. Oh god, that sucks, dude. Like, peanut butter is a really good ingredient. Maybe we can, like, research how to help you. Like, for real, unironically. Cooking at, like, 3 a.m. in the dead of night is awesome. It is. Just like being outside and, like, running around. Or, like, being at the gym, like, super late. Like, no one else is there. I haven't got to the gym in a long, long time. It was kind of nice. Oh, man. Ah, oh, You feel so much better if you exercise. Hope everything is going well. Indeed it is. And if it isn't, I don't know. I'm I'm happy and oblivious and wonderful and ha I'm just having a good night. Oh, oh my goodness. For the win- Thank you so much for coming by. You're a different person here. This is crazy. I will treat you as a different person here. You are different here. Good night, everyone. Good night, Kevin. You get yourself some good rest. I have two Dutch ovens of chili and stew, always in the fridge. Whoa! That sounds awesome. You, like, eat like a human. Okay, here's the thing. There's people that cook. Well, you make burritos and freeze them. That's a good idea. There's people that cook, and then there's the people that are suffering right now. I'm one of the people that are suffering right now. I don't really know how to cook, but it's too expensive to continue, like just eating like frozen meals cuz now they're like $5 a frozen meal. So we're going to we're going to change. At least I am. And I'm taking notes today. What are the funnest things you can make? I'm going to say Oh, dairy and ses sesame is so good. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Please help this man. I'm gonna put down... We have Bean Burrito. I'm gonna put down... Uh... Falafel. Ba... La... Full. Falafel's really good. You can have that with tahini. Would you have to make ta... He... Ni. This is the problem I have. Every Everything you want to make has 700 ingredients in it when it comes down to it. Just like, okay, I'll make the falafel. That'll be so fun. You need chickpeas and this spice and that spice and this spice. Okay, now I need tahini. I have to make tahini. Oh my god. Okay, and then, okay, I need to I need to cut up the, the tomatoes. I need to make the bread. I need to make the gyro for them, too. Is that what it's called? A gyro? Or is that like when it has ingredients already in it? The pita. I need to make the pita, too. There you go. Samosas are good. Sausage lentil soup top tier meal. I used to make some like onion soup, but like they, they were vegan sausages still because I would have exploded But like they were still really good Cooking is fun. You can make simple stuff that is still delicious. I'm gonna try. What's your go-to frozen meal? It's not even very good. It's um It's Annie's vegetarian vegan meatloaf mashed potatoes and corn and peas They're like five bucks now or like six bucks and they're relatively healthy-ish compared to most things because they're like they have like a little bit more fiber and like ingredient. It, it, it's it's not very good. It's something I can eat. It's pronounced a euro. Why? Why do they do that? Tell me. I need to know. I'm not moving on until you tell me what what's wrong with them. What's wrong with the people that invented the euro? Why don't they call it the gyro? Gyro is a cooler word to say. I'm being aggressive about this. Sorry, I will calm down. I love making curry. Okay, yeah, I make a lot of curry, actually. Japanese curry. Because they have little blocks. And it's almost not even cooking. Alright, I'm writing that down. Cool. Have a rich taste by eating the rich. I would honestly, like, be okay eating someone, but I wouldn't want it to be, like, lab-grown meat that's me. I also wouldn't want my meat lab grown because I would be afraid that I'd live on forever in those, like, molecules and stuff and never die. Until, like, you know, the world, like, burnt away and everything. That would be a really horrible existence, right? Like, your soul being tied to, like, every little bit of, like, fake meat that you are- It doesn't matter. I don't need to think about this. Chicken thigh, chipotle sauce, rice and broccoli- Rice and broccoli? Put on, like, 10 pounds of muscle from that- Congratulations! I- Okay, I think we can adapt that into something that won't make me explode. Chipotle. Chipotle. I like saying chipotle. It makes people very angry until you run into someone that's just like, okay. And that is, think you're stupid? So that's, uh, okay. Okay. Alright, there we go. Plus broccoli. I love broccoli. You are so real for that. You are so real for liking broccoli. Broccoli and rice. I buy, like, a nice rice. I buy, like, a nice rice that goes really well with curry. Sriracha dumplings. What do you do with those? Holy flip. Did you hear about the beef the beef rice they're growing in Korea? Wait, what? I thought you were thought you were being sarcastic, but as I read more, I realized you probably weren't. Are they really doing that? Wait, for real? Uh-oh. <laughs> what does that mean? That's not good. Everyone vegan or vegan adjacent ponders cannibalism at some point. Them's the rules. Oh, you're the vegan. Hello, the vegan. How are you? Are you doing well? We're gonna be doing a lot of recipes you may very much enjoy. Broccoli with butter and salt. Ooh. Ooh, or you can do it with olive oil. Oh, asparagus with olive oil. Ooh, okay, one second. Asparagus. Asparagus. My dearest asparagus. Sorry, it has a very southern, like, general kind of feel to asparagus. That's the thing now? Any vegetable is good grilled? It is, isn't it? Ooh, a little saute. I want to know what the beef rice thing is in Korea. But I'm... I should just go back over to my other screen. No, I, I have decided. I'm gonna stay like this. This is who I am. I won't have a background. So are they, like, adapting, like, technology? Huh. If you want the cheapest way to stay alive food-wise, look up- Oh, ha 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 ha. I have so many of those. <laughs> Vinyl, I actually ate the cheese tornellini MRE meal today. They're very cheap. But they also make you feel like garbage after a while. 
I love them, but they do eventually make you feel like you are going to die. Let's let's be honest. They're delicious though. I have uh, two cases of humanitarian MREs. Those cookies taste like plastic, but other than that, they're very good. And then I have um, some vegetarian MREs. I think I have a few meals left of those. I wish your taste buds happiness, ma'am. Thank you very much. I hope that they can recover as well. I hope that your taste buds are staying good too. Don't boil meat. I'm gonna boil meat just to make you angry. I'm not gonna do that, sorry. Don't know why I said that. That's That was rude of me. I'm gonna not do that. Don't boil meat. I'll write that down. Don't. <laughs> don't waste your food to be weird. Boil meat. Meat. Yeah. Meat. Which multiverse is this? I don't know, fella. The good one, I think. Like, there's actually a very different universe out there. Like... I can't go into what, but there could have been a very different choice I made, and it would have been so weird, but I would have been here at the same time, but... Anyway, uh, men also need more protein than women in general. I feel cruddy if I don't eat enough meat personally. Even skipping it for a day is, is rough on me. Oh, whoa, really? Ooh. I, I, oh, I don't know how much protein I eat, honestly. I have, like, tofu just because that also stays really good for, like, longer. Like, you can have tofu in your fridge for a few months. And I don't like going outside. I'm not a shut-in, but I, I, I don't like going outside. Like, I can if I need to, but oh, I don't enjoy it. I don't like it. But, you know what? A nice hot pot would be good with tofu and napa cabbage and stuff like that. Hot pot. Ooh, and mushrooms. Oh my god, mushrooms taste so good in hot pot. Yeah. 23 theoretical dimensions in the world, and we chose the right one. You did indeed, Viper. You did indeed. Hello, Dave. Are you familiar with Weird Explorer, the YouTuber that reviews weird fr fruit? Well, now I am. One second. I need that in my life. I need that. Give me that. Weird Explorer. Weird fruit. That is, that is exciting. Thank you. <gasps> you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To think we almost lost you. To think we want. To think I almost lost myself. That's silly. Um, but thank you so much. I'm gonna follow Weird Explorer right now. I encourage all of you to do the same because Ollie's. He's he has a pink pineapple. What am I doing? This is what I want to do. Wait a sec. What am I doing? I want to do this. Hi, Sotek. Yo, how you doing? Guys, go check out Sotek. I think Sotek's pretty like big on YouTube actually. Like, go check him out. Go check him out. Go support him. Go support him. Zotek is a Warhammer fantasy person. Content creator. I once said World of Warcraft and I wanted to die so much. I wanted every body, I wanted like every cell in my body to explode at once. Because that's a very bad mistake to make when it comes to that type of thing. And I'm very sorry. I'm extremely sorry. Wait, what's live chat versus top chat? Wait, what? I wasn't seeing everything you guys were saying? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Oh my goodness gracious. <gasps> I just realized I was not doing this correctly. I'm really sorry, you guys. That's my bad. Um, chicken noodle soup is easy to make homemade and really tasty. We're gonna look- we're gonna put down soup. Soup. I have a nice soup recipe you guys might like too. I think it concerns me how much you seem to have to think carefully before saying it. My brain is messed up. I have an excuse now. <gasps> oh my god, I have an excuse now. I have a bit of brain trauma. Like, I um, I actually have a little bit less brain than you. So, like, I, I'm allowed to, like, assume that, like, you're a, um, you're a World of Warhammer streamer. Uh, that was not the right combination of words. I realized as I said it. I paused and I thought, like, don't say the wrong one. And then I did. Oh my god, that's time. Oh my god. I'm gonna just keep going. Oh my god. Anyone go crazy while I was gone? Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. No, that would never happen. That's so silly. You're so silly. Oh my god, everyone's so silly. It's fine, your debut st Yeah, this is my first stream! This is my debut stream in the void. Remember when we were in, like, that nice room? <laughs> That's not gonna happen again. This is how it goes every time. Maybe I'll load up Voices of the Void. I probably won't, though. I don't feel like it's a Voices of the Void kind of day. I feel like it's a, uh... I'm gonna put more food on screen. We'll actually have something to, to talk about if a single piece of food makes it on here. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh wow. I can see a lot more of your guys' stuff now. I didn't know there was top chat and live chat. That's very weird. What's the difference? Like if you guys say like bad words or something, like it doesn't go into top chat? I don't know why. 
Here we go. All right, now we have something on the screen. My favorite brain damage VTuber, apparently. Oh, don't- No, no, no. A lot of VTubers have brain damage. Oh, there's statistically quite a few, actually. If I have a brain cyst, that means one out of- Well, I mean, it's not related to me. But one out of every 100 people will have an arachnoid cyst that is just smooshing into their brain a little bit. Usually they're smaller. But quite a few of you could have brain damage. And you would never even know. You would never even know. You would never even know. Yeah. 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 I think chat freezes, Grimmy. Oh, that's so sad. Look up, uh... Pama Rosa. Jamaican apples. They're my favorite fruit from my home island in the crib. Oh my god. Thank you for letting me know, Toki. That, that sounds delicious. Are those dates or raisins? Those are raisins. This is a raisin rum cheesecake. Oh my god. Is it? Does it look amazing to you? This, uh... This was the only recipe that I have to talk about because someone said, Oh, you're talking about food here. I, uh, I am completely unprepared. Wax apple. What's a wax apple? <gasps> these look like little pear apples. Oh my god. I want these. What? We're gonna put these on screen too. They don't let these, uh, they don't let these in the place I am, I'm in. Like, they never do. They're very intense about not letting people have, like, fruit here. Arachnoid, you have a spider thing in your brain. It's because uh, there's like a part of your like brain, like around the skull, it's like a webbing almost, it looks like. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty neat. I will tell my doctor you told us about it, Grimmy. Yes, everyone panic. That's exactly what you should do. Don't panic, but that's exactly what you should do. Raisins? Okay, look, there's a good way to enjoy raisins. You have to like, what I do. I never eat a full raisin. That's too much for me. I feel like garbage if I do that. That's like, that's not like, that's not a human amount of raisin to eat. You take a little bit of raisin, like a quarter of it, get something else with it. That's, that's the amount of raisin that you're supposed to eat as a human being. I'm going to put these apples on screen. Don't worry, you don't have to be traumatized anymore. Look at those. They're so delicious. Not a raisin fan, sadly. I'm not either. Oh, like an egg. I love eggs. Also, thank you, Jesus with a capital G for saying I love food earlier so I could keep the theme of the stream on. Thank you. It's an interdimensional spider egg. It's... Um, okay, if you've had head trauma, like, if you've been, like, a kid that was, like, smashing their head into stuff, or, like, fell down a great distance, I had this happen when I was, like, 12, I think, like, but the thing is, after that, if you start getting a bunch of headaches and you feel really tired and sick all the time, uh, you are not just lazy and your parents shouldn't be like, oh my god, what's wrong with you? Oh my god, this sucks. Oh my god, you suck. Like, you should probably go to a doctor because you might have something growing in your brain and squishing it. And it'll kind of grow around it, but it'll also squish it, and you'll just feel terrible all the time. So you might have a arachnoid cyst. That's how they develop. Brain trauma. You go onto like a sidewalk, or onto like a hardwood floor, and then you're in trouble. Eventually. Not immediately. It actually like kind of like grew into my skull too, which I thought was really cool. I'm gonna think that's really cool until I have to get it removed, and then I'm gonna be very scared. Um, don't think about it. Uh, I just... Uh, l let's see, a cup of raisin, sugar is good. Yeah, sugar, sugar is good. I feel like dates are better. Or prunes. <gasps> prunes are pretty good, actually. Grammy, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, it's okay. It was a long time ago. I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be looking at these little pear apples. They're so good looking. Oh my goodness. Don't worry for a second. Don't worry for a second. If you had head trauma, go to the doctor. Exactly. You should really do so. Your parents should have been more... Oh, it's okay. They were very silly people. Your parents are just like older adults. And once you realize that they're older adults, you kind of forgive them and you move on and you hope they're okay. They're called Pumarosas. Pumarosas, that looks beautiful, Pumarosa. We probably aren't gonna be able to make these or eat these. <laughs> now that I think about it. But um, it's still really nice to see them. It gives you like a good like feeling of like, I wanna eat more food. I wanna get into the concept of eating food. Parents will always just accuse you of being lazy and dumb. It's what happens to everyone, I hate it. Yeah. But once you're an adult, you can realize they were just going crazy and they needed to <laughs> relax a little and you'll feel better. And you'll be far away from them, hopefully. Peaches and mangoes are my favorite. Oh yeah. I love peaches and mangoes. I love them so much. They're so good. Okay, the kitten's still good. There's a kitten with an upper respiratory infection here and I think they're doing okay. I hear them snoring very loudly occasionally and I have to turn and make sure they're... He's good. He's good. He's a little Mikey. He's little Mikey. Prunes are good, but they aren't compatible with a lot of other flavors. That's true. But have you ever had, like, a nice little prune? That's very true, though. But have you ever, like, had a nice little prune? You unwrap it, 
You get it, you put it in your mouth, and it's suddenly like, ooh, this was the exact amount of sugar I wanted. This is the exact amount of, like, sweetness I wanted. This is the exact amount of savoriness I wanted. I think prunes are a highly, 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 highly undervalued food. And you can disagree with me. You can say I'm stupid. Silly boomers with all their lead gasoline brain damage making them jerks. I don't know what makes boomers jerks. I mean, we're probably going to be rude to, like, the youngins when we're older, though. Just like, you don't need that TikTok. TikTok is destroying your brain, okay? You don't need that TikTok. I don't want to see this woman grill a cheese sandwich in the forest. That's silly. You can grill a cheese sandwich in our kitchen. Hmm. Hmm. Absurd. Absurd what you get onto on your phone. When I was your age, I was watching scientists on YouTube. I was watching scientists on YouTube. I was watching a man discover what ghost kitchens were. Mm-hmm. And what are you discovering? You're discovering that you could cook grilled cheese in the forest if you had $200 worth of equipment, okay? That's what we're gonna be like in a... <laughs> in a while, probably. It's better to have kittens snoring loudly because you know how the... Yeah, the kitten is still breathing. But he's... He's just got a little bit of a runny nose, I think. And he re got fleas. And he's sleeping in my bed, actually. Oh, no. Okay, that's a... That is a future Grimmy problem. That is a future Grimmy problem. That's an after-stream Grimmy problem, but that's not good. Oh, it's okay. When I was your age, I was watching VTubers. Yes, you and your holographic AI terrifying presidents that just play Minecraft all day. You don't even know those presidents. They were from when I was young, sweetie. Yeah. Yeah. Good country accent? Thank you. That's very nice of you. I appreciate that. I don't want to be too mean to y'all. Okay, now let's see here. Let's see. Sharing fleas? No, I'm not very happy about that. I will have fleas, probably. They have to get their flea medicine, and then I'm gonna be washing everything on my bed, and they're probably still gonna be there a little bit. This is not good. They they look they look <laughs> they look positively just happy, just chilling out there on my pillow. Okay. They are using my pillow as a little pillow. Go pick up the silly kitty. They're sick. I don't want to make them uncomfortable at all. Like I have a humidifier going, and I have like um a heater going a little bit to make it a little warmer in here. I don't want to make them feel sicker. When I was your age, I was watching cute, adorable VTubers. When I was your age, I was watching terrifying, creepy VTubers. I was watching, I was watching, let's see, Lena, was watching Grimmy, was watching Cabal, was watching them horror VTubers, those scary ones. And horror meant something very different in my age. It was not what kids are calling it these days. People did not wear shorts that short back then. No, they already do. They wear very short shorts. Good for them, honestly. Be a sexy lady if you want to. Or a sexy fella. You can wear very short shorts and be a very sexy fellow if you want. I'm not- I'm not discriminating. It's okay. You can- you can do whatever you feel comfortable with. Please. Positively fluffy. They're a very fuzzy cute kitty. Horror VTubers are the best VTubers. They're very interesting, aren't they? I'm also a horror VTuber, though you couldn't tell it based on me trying to tell you about apples for the past half an hour and failing. Maybe that's scary in itself. If anyone's new, I try. And if anyone's new, I fail, so... You have the lecturing voice down, I felt it in my chest. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's so messed up! Sorry! That's not good. I could make it worse. Have you done your homework? I do not want to get called into school again. No one else in this family has this issue, okay? You need to do your homework. When I was your age, I did my homework, and it was much harder. Now you have the internet. Now you have calculators. You have everything you need to succeed, and what are you doing? You're not doing your homework because that TikTok. I want you off that TikTok. I, I'm happy the government might ban it because you do not need that TikTok in your life. I'm sorry, I don't really hope that. You play video games? Cool. I don't even play video games half the time. I'm sorry. Okay, but we we got a couple of things. Uh, we we could do a nice stir fry too, like maybe noodles and yeah. I want to put down noodles, noodles, <laughs> noodles and stir fry. We're not really making a lot of progress here. We can talk about weird food, too. Like, they had those... Here. I'm just gonna put up weird photos until we eventually land on something decent. Okay, here. Pringles. Have you ever tasted the Minecraft Pringles? I have. They were not very good. <laughs> they tasted pretty gross, but I want you to see them still. Here. I want you to see them still. Here, here, here. So... These are the Minecraft Pringles. They were suspicious stew flavored. I don't know if they came out with any other ones. 
I did harder homework bo uphill both ways in the snow. Exactly. It's been decades and this is still cause to sleep for- I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Sorry, Somber. That's really good. That's really good that you're not in that place anymore, though. Don't mean this as an insult, but you sound just like the mom from Young Sheldon. I've never watched Young Sheldon, but that's cool. I mean, I assume that he's... I don't know. I... Can I be honest with you? I have no idea what's going on in Young Sheldon, and I don't want to know because it's very funny that it's continued past the original show so far. I think it just keeps going because it has a completely different audience and it has a completely different viewership. They're not the same at all, and it's probably going to go on for like 10 more years because like old ladies watch it and stuff usually. Not, not that there's anything wrong with that. But yes, these are suspicious stew, Pringles. Suspicious stew. When I found out about these, I ran out. I ran out and I purchased some. And I was so excited, just like, oh my god, they made, they made... I'm very... <laughs> I'm very motivated by, uh, what's it called? Um... I really like the concept of, like, video game crossover food and stuff like that. Like, anime crossover food, things like that. That doesn't sound like the most appealing favorite. It's, it tasted really suspicious. I will give it that. It tasted extremely suspicious. It was very on brand. I've never heard of that flavor before. It, I don't know if they still have it. I think you can buy it from those websites where they're like, We have every snack in existence. Please come purchase some. But I don't know if... Yeah, on Pop Americas, there's apparently... You can buy it. I don't know what this is. American chips. I'm, I'm from America. What the flip? Sweet dr dragon sweet chili Takis? What the flip? Why do you have these? I don't... What? These are not American chips. What? We don't have these. These are not American chips. They're they're falsely advertising these. If you come to America, we don't have stuff this interesting. I can't believe this. You mother flipper. You are taking the good American name and you're perverting it with these with these delicious looking chips. That looks amazing. I want those. I'm a sucker for limited crossover food. Oh, one billion percent. One billion percent. I cannot even eat them because again, the dairy thing, but like I almost bought the Bishojo chocolates that were like 70 bucks and I was just like, I should do it, I should do it, once in a lifetime, I should do it, I should do it. I ended up like managing to suppress it, but like I went crazy for a little bit. I don't like that kind of stuff. I go nuts for it. Slap an anime girl on it. I'm all there. Slap a little funny guy on it. Slap Midgar on it and say this is Midgar exclusive Final Fantasy VII hot sauce. It tastes like it was brewed in Midgar. I'd eat that in a second. Canada's worse? Oh no. You've seen this in the market? How dare you? I want to I want to see them. We have those where I live in the USA. What? Why don't I have these? What? I don't have this. Where do you live? Wait, don't dox yourself. Sorry. I'm calming down. Um also thank you Dante. It's nice to see you streaming on YouTube. Thank you. I um this is my YouTube debut. This is my first stream ever. Every other clip you saw was a was a manufactured clip from Sky. Yep. Um, we manufactured those. I've never streamed before on YouTube, and it's been very nice streaming. I'm really enjoying it. It's my first one, though. Yes, it's my first one. Wink. It's my first stream. Wink. It's my first stream. Lie to him. It's my first... Sorry, that's okay. We're coming down. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I think I'm just excited. They have hot and spicy Cheez-Its? They have the hot chip! Oh, that thing was actually banned, wasn't it? Because, like, one kid ate, like, 16 of them and died. And that's kind of, like, not the one chip's fault. Like, you should just eat one of them. There's an official Final Fantasy Rebirth Udon noodles. I want those so bad. Like, they made, like, the weird yaoi commercial with Sephiroth. I don't want them because of that. Hi, Mikey. Hi, Mikey. Oh, you came to get fleas on me. Um, hi, Mike. Oh, you came to eat my hair. Don't do that. Don't, 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 don't. Sorry. Ow, ow, ow. When the kitten, um, tries to eat my hair, I pull it back, and then they immediately just stab me with their little claws. Sorry, okay. I, uh, I want those. I want the Final Fantasy stuff, though. There you go. There you go, baby. Ugh. Yeah, you can just- Stop biting my hair! Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Okay. What kind of commercial? Do you want to see it? Are we allowed to do that on YouTube? Can I show you the commercial on YouTube, or will it be like, You should not do this. You cannot do React content on YouTube. I will kill you. That's fair, honestly. That's fair. Okay, no more biting, buddy. I know you're sick, but you can't do that. You can't get away with that just because you're sick. You can get away with a little, but not that much. Okay. Okay, he's just chilling out now. He's just in my lap. Okay, but, um... 
KFC original recipe Lay's chicken chips. Okay, we don't have these. If you've seen these, you are 100% lying and I won't believe you. Here we go. But there is actually, yeah, a Yaoi commercial with Sephiroth and uh, Cloud. How about Final Fast Fantasy 16? I don't know if they've made any, like, uh, like, Yaoi commercials for Final Fantasy 16 yet, so... The music might be copyrighted? No, this is copyright free! Music for Twitch and YouTube! I looked it up! It's all copyright free! Unless they just decided not to be. This is the first result. Yeah, Twitch and streamer friendly. Ow! Mikey, stop! Ow, ow, ow! Mikey, you cannot do that. He's trying to, like, claw into me so he can, like, kind of roll over and not fall over. It's okay, buddy. You could link the video and we can watch it on our own. Okay, yeah. Do you guys want to see the, um... The Final Fantasy Yaoi commercial? Final Fantasy Seven, Rebirth. Udon. I kind of want this stuff, honestly. Does it come with, like, little... Does it come with a... I really want to know. Does it come with, like, Cloud on the front of it? Like, looking real handsome and stuff? Is this how you stream? I think this link might work. It might not. Well, let's see. Oh, it works, yo. It works, yo. The cat's hunger for hair. He does. Hi, Mikey. When he's uh, not feeling good, he just wants direct eye contact with me. And he wants to lay in my arms. It's okay, baby. You can hang out here. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. He has a little kitty cold. It's okay, buddy. Ah! Oh, okay, fine. You can get one. Alright. We're talking about the ad? Go watch it. Um, I know that's, like, not smart to, like, go leave, say, leave the stream and go watch this. But I honestly do think it's very important that you do. Because <laughs> I'm about to talk about it. And it's going to be really weird. Um... So, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Uh, first of all, Final Fantasy VII makes a lot of money in their, like, collaborative efforts with, like, noodle companies and, like, all kinds of stuff. Like, I think Final Fantasy VII had, like, a... They had, like, a collaboration with Popeyes in America. Ow! Okay, Mikey. Okay, Mikey. Okay, thank you for letting go. Ow! Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh-uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, that was, um, uh, that was loud. I really apologize for that. That was loud. I'm also realizing that, uh, my chat froze for some reason on OBS. Let me reopen that. Um, Mikey, uh, decided to, uh, <laughs> attack my hair and then claw into my back. Oh, the chat's just broken. Oh, now it's moving. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. Oh, now it's on top chat. I don't like that. I want live chat. Ow, you little... Oh, damn. Okay, well, it's okay. Mikey's a good kitty. Kitten trying to murder? He let go. When I started screaming, he let go. It's okay. Your cat's on time today. Yeah, he's having a good time. Uh, oh my goodness gracious. It's okay. Wait, why am I not... Wait, sorry, I went to, like, the chat to, like, see... Oh, you can put it... Oh, I can be 1080p if I select this. Oh, it still doesn't look as good. Wait, what? How do I get, like, crystal clear graphics to you guys? Wait, this is not- this is not right. Why do I look all blurry? Can someone tell me why I look all blurry? No! I'll fix this, I'll fix this, I'll fix this. I'll fix this by next time, I guess. I'm a very blurry person right now, this is weird. Oh yes, my mic does have a sound gate. Um, I need to fix that, but I've been overwhelmed for the past two years, and I, um, every time I sit down to do it, I go, Oh my god, I wanna die, I don't wanna do this. So, I'm gonna get it fixed, and I really do appreciate you telling me. And unironically, I really do. But it may be a little while. We didn't hear you scream. Your mic was ripped off. You probably... That's really good. Okay. So I have a noise gate. So if I scream too much, it'll not wake anyone up or like make them want to kill me for screaming at the top of my lungs. Ow, though. Ow. I have a bunch of scratches on me. Ow. It looks good to me. I look so blurry, though. I, can... I look blurry. I look crystal clear and beautiful on my screen, but I look blurry on this other screen. What happened to me? Where did I go wrong? Why did this happen? Also, like, I'm not even that big compared- I can- I can get bigger. There we go. I don't know what's up with me today. I don't know what's happening. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. But yes, um, before the cat attacked me, you look fine at 480p- Oh my goodness, you're too sweet, but that's not true. I want to be- I want to be very- I want to be- I want to be gigantic. I want to be huge. I want you to see every- I paid a lot for this model. You better appreciate it. 
feel like I'm talking about, like, food or something, or, like... I don't know. Anyways, it's fine. Switch to 1080 YouTube has, uh... You look blurry to yourself? I look blurry! I look blurry! I look- I look a little different! Wait! No, I still look blurry. The colors are weird. I'm gonna- I'm gonna figure this out after, because this is- this is gonna drive me insane. I have to close it for now or I'm gonna go crazy. Okay, whatever. Anyways, back on point. So anyways, yes, I can now show you a screenshot of what, um... Of what I was looking at. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Sephiroth. But don't worry, this isn't a spoiler. This isn't a spoiler! Because we're gonna put Udon. Udon in the search as well. And that's going to make it so Sephiroth becomes a weird, um... Kitsune furry. That, I'm not kidding, um... That tries to give Cloud noodles. I'm not kidding. You okay, Mike? Okay, he's destroying something. Okay, cool. Uh, so here's- here's what Sephiroth looks like in the commercial. You guys are probably all familiar with Sephiroth at this point. Your man has grandma eyes? No, I don't. You have grandma eyes. What does that mean? You have grandma eyes. Um, so they made a Yaoi commercial where Sephiroth tries to get Cloud to eat noodles. And people were surprised by this, but also, um, they make a lot of money when they just allow- <laughs> When the, when they go to a company and go like, well, you can put Cloud and Sephiroth on our on your noodles, and we'll make a commercial for them. You'll get a million dollars. Like they'll they'll go like, okay, we'll pay you X amount of money. So even if Final Fantasy VII Rebirth doesn't sell amazingly well, they've made a lot of money, like a lot of money on advertising. The Final Fantasy VII remake looks wild. Oh, you're you haven't seen nothing yet. One second. That's that's just one of them. Take a look at the next shot. <laughs> These are all so good, I forgot about this. These are amazing, oh my goodness. Okay, next one. Very important, pay attention. No, we need the full tail. Here we go. Hello! How are you? Omega Verse returns again. It's not, well, mm, I'm sure people will have heavy inspiration from this, but, um... Cloud doesn't have any ears for some reason, it's just Sephiroth. It's got a big old bushy tail, two little ears, and um... Yes, Red Room, it's true. There is Se Cloud and Sephiroth Yaoi being mentioned. I will not deny, th deny that, but the context of it is very funny. I love this, thank you. I think it's quite funny. I am not someone that wants to see Cloud and Sephiroth get jiggy with it and um, you know, get real... Mm, familiar with each other. But I'm very happy that they made this commercial, because it's absurd, and it makes you kind of feel like you're dying, and your brain is trying to recreate what it thinks is right or wrong. Do you ever have that feeling? Like, I feel like that's this. Like, your brain would be like, I remember Final Fantasy VII, but didn't it look amazing? And I'm pretty sure Sephiroth had noodles at one point, and he was- was it Sephiroth or was it a fox? No, it was- it was definitely Sephiroth. He- he was a fox? Yeah, I, I guess. And then, like, you'd die. Like, that's how it feels to me. I think it's a quite interesting and beautiful experience. And let me show you the last one, because this one is really stupid. <laughs> you can go and watch this commercial also. I would highly recommend it. Please go do so. Did Sephiroth do this? Look at Noodle- look at this. This is the last- this is the last one I'll show you, and it's my favorite because it's an iconic scene. I won't spoil what it is in that iconic scene! I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it's, uh... I love how high effort this was. Yeah, they they hired the same, like, I guess they did it, like, in-game and, like, made a cutscene for it and sold it to the comp- well, the company probably requested that they do advertisement with them, so. I never played Final Fantasy VII, I just like the Tifa art. Tifa's really cute, but, but you should play it. She's actually a very sweet person. I'm very happy that Aerith and Tifa are- oh, Mike, don't do that. Don't kill me again. Um, I'm very happy that, uh, Aerith and Tifa are, like, Ooh, okay, Mike, here, you can jump up now. I've moved myself. Good job, Mike. Okay, good. All right, go get please over your bed on here. Okay. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Okay, he knocked over the notepad. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. There you go. But I think it's kind of neat. It's really cool. Go check out this advertisement if you haven't already. You're gonna be in for a real treat there. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Exactly. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. This is so cursed and it was a real thing. It really was. Not many people know about it, I guess. But 
you deserve to go and treat yourself and see it, because if you're familiar with Final Fantasy VII, it's really funny. Some of these scenes, Sephiroth just did a lot of really silly things. Perhaps some immoral eh, things. I won't, I won't spoil it. Never mind, never mind. Sephiroth's a good guy. Oh my god, we love Sephiroth. Oh my god, he's so sweet. Oh my god, he's never done anything wrong in his entire life. Oh my god, give him little kisses. Mm. Uh, Final Fantasy VII became so popular, it infiltrated the Italian disco- Oh, I remember that. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious. On that note, Viper, you bring up an interesting point. Did you know that the Omegaverse has actually been accepted into the French politician circle? Have you? Did you know that? Another thing for you, the Omegaverse is a, a yaoi thing, but like, it's- and it's pretty- it's pretty intense. But like, the thing is, if you look Ome up Omegaverse, French politician, you will find it. I'm not gonna put it on stream. Also, sorry for making you search Omegaverse. It's gonna change your, um... It's probably gonna change your advertisements for a while. They're gonna assume you really want to see a lot of stuff about... Guys doing stuff, sorry. Um... What? You don't need to worry. You don't need to worry. Um... Uh, is Sephiroth a good guy? Why did he- oh, why did he- oh, if Sephiroth's a good guy, why did he beat you up in Kingdom Hearts? I have no clue what happened in that game at all. People have tried to explain it to me, and it's really confusing, and I- I don't know. The last one I played was the one with the- Xion? Xion? Xion. Xion. The politician with the book? Yes, a politician has, in France, read Omegaverse material. She posed with it for a- for a photo, like with all the other politicians. She knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. She wasn't going like, oh my god, no one will know. Oh no, I'm so embarrassed. She knew what she was doing. I can guarantee you she knew what she was doing. Don't worry, I always get weird ads for watching Phase Connect. Oh, nice! Phase Connect is lovely. They're, they're very lovely ladies. They're very lovely ladies. I love um, the ones I've watched most. And um, I guess the ladies that have been nice to me are like Pippa and Kaneko Lumi. Very, very lovely ladies. Also, hello, Mew, Muzu. Hi, YouTube Grimmy Squibbly Emote. We don't have those here. We're in a very scary new world. We're scared. We're suffering. She looks like she was doing that. Up. The woman that brought that book into the um, French politician picture. I'm just going to show it. Never mind. We're not talking about food. This is how it always goes. Sorry. French politician. Omegaverse. They tried really hard to- Like, everything was non-related to this as I looked this up. They were just like, no, that's not real. That's not real. Don't do that. Uh, French Prime Minister tweet commemorating Women's Day goes viral because of Yowie. There we go. It says, who runs the world? Girls. And I would now like to show you a girl that made waves online. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, Petito. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I recently started seeing Peepa content and whole- She's- Peepa's lovely. I think she's fun. I think she's a very sweet and honest person. Okay. I'm just gonna- I'm not even gonna- You don't even need to see me. This is- This is not doctored. Do you see anything weird? Do you buy- Do you buy- I need to actually do this a little bit. So I can- Uh, okay, one sec. Right. I need to be able to enhance this, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta crop it a little bit. There we go. Gotta crop it a little more. There we go. Okay. I need to enhance this when I need to. So, do you, do you notice anything weird in this photo? Like, I, I don't know. These, these ladies look really beautiful. They all look so wonderful. Oh, what's wrong, Mike? It's okay, kitty. He's not feeling very good, so. Where did you- why are you sleeping on my clothes now? Okay, I gotta rewash this. Cool. Um, but... Okay, Mike, you're fine. Anyways, uh, do you see anything strange? She's- she's not doing- no, 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 I don't know. Maybe- maybe this nice woman with the really cool jacket, like the, you know, over here, the really cool jacket. Oh no, what's this? What's this back here? What's- what's this? What is- what is this? What is this? What is this? This is not doctored. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Yep. This is not altered. I can link you the tweet. This is an unaltered picture that went up to celebrate Women's Day for the French government. 
Mikey's kind of dealt with. He's just running around screaming. Um, but like, it's just a blur to me. Well, let's, let's, uh... It's important you understand. Is this a blur to you? Is this a blur to you? Hi, Mike. Don't destroy that. Is this a blur to you? Please link it. I will link it right now. And you can go and observe this for yourself and realize that I am not a liar. I know what I'm talking about. And what I'm talking about is real. It is now in French politics. This is going to be the person that's deciding your laws in France, so, so you better start brushing up on the Omegaverse immediately. You better start brushing up on the Omegaverse immediately. Gabriel Adel had no idea what was, he was doing. He like just went, this is so, this will be so nice. Everyone will love it. Why did, why did 10k people like this tweet? Mike, you okay? Oh, okay. One second. Mike wants to go outside the room. Give me one second. I'm not even going to go to be, I'm not going to go. Mm, no, I won't go to be right back. It's only been like an hour. One sec, one sec. I'm going to go to sleep. Or maybe I'll look really weird. One second. Do we have the full content of that particular book? Yes, that is a book that you can look up. Um, I am not going to name what title it is, because that would be, um... Are you allowed to promote that kind of stuff on YouTube? Can you talk about the names of, like, different things that have, like, a lot of, um... Penises in it? Or is that, like, considered bad? Probably not good, right? This is not about food. I have to switch the title of this to Jisatsudan after, I'm very sorry. Click use a marker to draw things on her face. I'm awake. It was a very it was a very quick nap. I did that thing where people um This was very scary to me, but there's apparently um Hmm. We won't snitch? Okay, I'll tell you the name of the book, but um there's apparently a way to, like, sleep for only four hours a day, but you have to pretty much torture yourself to start doing it. Like, I don't know if this was true, but, like, you can trigger REM sleep if you, like, wake yourself up after a half an hour every time you try to sleep for, like, ten days straight. Like, there's a way to do it where, like, you slowly make your body- yeah, microsleep. Microsleep is very scary. I don't think it's healthy. But, like, you just go, like, oh my god, I'm so happy. And, like, every time you start to sleep, you just immediately wake up. So your body's like, oh my god, I have, like, two seconds to sleep. I have to go to sleep now. And you're just unconscious. Yeah, this is about food. But, um, let me see what that Omega, like, manga was. One second. Um, French politician Omegaverse. Manwa? I think it was a Manwa, actually. It's very popular in Manwa. Okay, what the F is Omega vs. Yaoi Manwa? Okay, yeah, there, there really was Omega vs. Yaoi and Okay, we, we... Uh... Oh, I don't want to go through these titles right... I'm gonna get that to you after. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link that on Twitter. I don't want to go through this right now. I don't want to be looking at this stuff on stream. It's not very pleasant. To... It's very pleasant. If you're, if you're happy about that stuff, I don't want to make any Fujoshis feel uncomfortable. Or any fellas that are into fellas. It's all good. You enjoy your Omegaverse stuff. Love Shuttle. Thank you very much for the kindness you've shown me in um, locating this Omegaverse title. So I don't have to. Thank you. Microsleep is the brain's response to needing to sleep and do it. Yep. Microverse is the brain's response to going, we are going to die if we don't sleep immediately. We are going to die. I don't know what happened, but we have to constantly be awake. Perhaps we are being whipped every time we go to sleep. Perhaps someone is going and hitting us with a hammer every time we go to sleep. Perhaps someone is going, like, we need to be awake. And then, like, you kind of feel like you're being chased by a lion all the time, probably, but you're awake. I sleep pretty well, but I st still see things move in my peripherals. Usually bugs. Uh, well, you might be, um, what's the word? Is it like when you're like a like do you wake up a little bit? You might have sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis is pretty scary. It's a super hulock thing. Tumblr made and Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, uh that... 
boys do <clears throat> okay uh <laughs> ah papa don't worry about it don't think about it don't worry about it don't think about it we are not looking at food i'm not really good at this i'm going back to my other place sorry everyone Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, we're, we're not looking at food today. I'm I'm not capable. Hi, Skelter. Did you get Taco Bell? I don't think you got Taco Bell. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Super Hulak is very weird, but I'm very happy for the people that love it. Sleep paralysis is pretty spooky. It is, isn't it? There you go. Why are you laughing at me? What are you laughing at me for? Noises? What did I do? I don't know what I did! What am I doing that are noises? Oh no, and the chat's a little bit behind. Oh, are you upset that I'm talking about Yaoi? Uh-oh. I don't know what noise I made, but it wasn't anything grotesque. It was a beautiful noise, probably. Or maybe you're referencing an icon or emoticon. I'm really out of touch. Welcome back to the radio, Grimmy. Thank you. I've accepted myself for who I am. I'm gonna talk to you about inane nonsense. Don't laugh at Kermit, you're allowed to. No Taco Bell. It's okay. They're a beautiful little guy. Get the Nene. This is my Nene. No one else can have it. This is my Nene. This is my Nene, and no one else can have it. She's hidden the Nene. It's my. I should probably see who's gifting these on Twitch. One second. Um. <laughs> Sorry that I'm not turning those off. I, I have no self control. I have zero self-control. Okay, here we go. Okay. Um, let me go back over to... Oh, I opened like a hundred different tabs. Here we go, okay. Thank you so much. Llama Broski for gifting a sub to Boys Kissing. Thank you so much, Anonymous, for gifting a sub to... Boys Doing Boys. Thank you so much, Llama Broski, for gifting a sub to Boy Love. Okay, there we are. Uh, turn it on. Uh, turn them off? Why? I don't want to turn them off. I'm going to forget to turn them back on when I stream on Twitch. It's 100%. I don't know. What a noise, a noisy oyster. A noisy noise, a noise, a noisy earth. You did that on purpose to hurt me. It's okay, though. The eye sync is super cute. Yeah, Skelter wants to see what I'm seeing. Or maybe I want to see what Skelter's seeing. Either way, it's fine. Uh, Grimmy membership went? I don't know how YouTube works, so... I have no clue how YouTube works! I don't know what goes on on YouTube. I'm one of those people that doesn't... I actually watch a lot of YouTube. I, I, I'm one of those people that doesn't understand the YouTube game. I don't understand why people come to YouTube to see streaming, probably because it's way easier to access and like it's a way better viewing experience if you're the type of person that doesn't usually watch streamers. I don't understand the game. Everything I just said, I don't believe, yeah. I don't believe that. Isn't Boys Doing Boys that Blur song? Oh, congratulations then. I didn't know. I didn't know it was a musical reference. Wild, uh, wilding today, aren't we, chat? No, this is about what happens. It's, uh, it's usually worse. If you guys want to play Voices of the Void, uh... Oh, other kittens. No, no, you can't eat the microphone, buddy. Um, you can't eat the microphone. No Patreon? I don't got a Patreon. I don't know what I put on there. I want to do ASMR so it could just be like... I want to do ASMR stuff that'll help people recover from tragic or crazy incidents. Um, like, I want to do ASMR like you were just in a car crash and woman comforts you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Oh, can you guys hear my chair? Is that why the noise? Uh, you're gonna be okay. It's gonna be alright. You don't deserve to feel scared. It's going to be alright. The, the police are on their way. Their police is on the- their police are on their way. Yeah, so Chachua. Chachua, do you want to go outside? No, Chachua, I want to go on the bed so he can spread fleas there too. Chachua is, um, my cat. He's not a part of this. He's in the car right now, but- but don't worry. I- you don't need to worry about the cats in my car right now. They are, um, they have the air conditioner on. It's a Tesla. They have the air conditioner on and it's, um, it's played their favorite station. Um, there's an additional person in there. I was driving one of my friends to work. She's in there too. So even if the Tesla misfires, it's fine. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. It's gonna be all right. Oh my god, you're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. Being in a car crash 
It's gonna take some time to get used to it, but you're gonna be alright. Okay, there you go. I wanna do ASMR like that and put them on Patreon. I don't think anyone's gonna wanna pay for them. <laughs> I think that's more of something for me. I like when- I wanna do that for me. Oh. I have seen Boyfriend get some car crash ASMR. It's so good. Hmm. And the one where they beat you with a frying pan? I like that one. Hmm. ASMR is finally just where people do funny stuff. <sighs> Misfire? Oh. Oh. Now the other cat is screaming. Give me one sec. I'm gonna go let them out. I don't even need to go to the be right back screen. I'll be right back. But I but I don't need to go to that screen. Give me one second. There we go. There we go. Did you see Jelly's Bomb ASMR? I can look up Jelly's Bomb ASMR. Um... Is it the candy? Oh, I'm eating like a little apple pie. Um, it's from a place that's not McDonald's, but it's really similar to like their apple pie, except it doesn't taste like cardboard. It's really nice! It's kind of like what you expect a McDonald's apple pie to taste like, but every time you're very disappointed. It's really good. It even has like... They sprang for powdered sugar. McDonald's would never have that level of luxury. Mmm. 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 That one is really good. Yeah. But the McDonald's one tastes a little bit... I like it. But it is kind of just like... They've been trying to save some money. <laughs> They've been trying to be a little bit more uh, economically... Um... They've been saving money. They've been saving money, we'll just put it that way. Never seen someone wake up from a nap so happy? You obviously have never been extremely sleep deprived and like on the verge of death or you're just like, I need to sleep. I only slept four hours last night. I'm going to die. Help me. Help me, God. Help me, God. Let me go to sleep. Let me pass out. Go to sleep. Let me go to sleep. I, I can't do this anymore. Let me go to sleep. Let me go to sleep. Let me go to sleep. And then you wake up and you feel way better. It's so nice. I miss McDonald's cookies and cream pie. Oh, that sounds good. I don't even know about those. Can you do ASMR of woman comforting you before brain surgery? I can listen to that before it. I've made ASMR for myself, actually. My manager told me not to, like, um... Upload it to YouTube because it wasn't, like, a very, like, finished, beautiful, like, piece of, like, what I usually do with streaming. But I did it anyways, and... <laughs> and then I, I uploaded a second one. Um, because I forgot to put the- no, no, no. I- I wanted to have one of them have no audio in one ear. Because obviously you want audio in one ear because you need one ear to be, um, not having audio in it. So you can see if there's attackers behind you. That's what ASMR really- it's good at it. It's really good. Like, you want to feel very safe when you listen to ASMR and comforted, so... So of course you need to, uh... You need to- <laughs> You need to have audio in only one ear, but people were requesting it be in both ears. I want to hear it? Oh, I probably uh, took it down because, again, Seth was not happy about that. But, like, uh, let me see. I can probably... I'm gonna... I, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna make them public again. I'm gonna make them both public. Yeah, publish. Yeah, publish. Yeah, go check them out. Go check out my ASMR skills. Even though they're not probably good for the algorithm. Check it out. What you usually do streaming? Um, I made that ASMR on stream because I didn't want to play Five Nights at Freddy's sister location because I was too scared, so I needed the TV, laid for TV lady from Skibbity Toilet to comfort me. Yep. And now I listen to it before I play before I play FNAF, and I feel a lot better. Although Pizzeria is still really scaring me. I need to get through that game. I probably need to restart it too so I can get Ooh, it's really it's really uncomfortable. Pizzeria is a very scary one. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I am entertained. I can do anything here. Mm. I'm pretty sure my manager does not watch YouTube streamers. Mm. I can stay or do anything here. Mm. I can do literally anything. What? What's something I could do that would annoy them? Um. 
we're gonna make a hot sauce called human skin. I'm gonna make a hot sauce called human skin. Yeah. And it's gonna be made out of real human skin. No, I can't. Okay. Um, don't. Don't listen to me anymore. That's probably a really big uh, safety code violation. It will not be made out of human skin. It was a nice video. Thank you so much for enjoying the ASMR. Can you link it to us? It should just be on my YouTube channel now. I could link it to you if you need me to, though. I'm gonna send you- I'm gonna send you the good version. The bad version has audio in both ears, and it's just like, you- you don't need that. That's- that's- that's excessive, you know? You don't- you don't want that. You- you want the- you want the half ear. You want the half ear so you feel comfortable. Let me eat my own- oh, uh, congratulations if you'd like to do that. There we go. There we go. Seth isn't here. Right? I don't know. N none of the managers are here. I'm free here. I'm free. I'm in society now. Oh. Mm. Mm. Ethically short skin? That would be amazing. How do you get that? Oh. This is a casual watch you. It's true. Hmm. We're thinking about food because I'm eating it. Hmm. I kind of want to make apple pie. That would be amazing. Rami, I am not a fan of this ASMR video. Please remove. How dare you? I will murder you. Nothing. I will be very polite to you and accept that criticism. That is a very kind thing of you to say. I will work harder on my future stuff. Have you ever tried to pull out your own eyeball in a VTuber model? I think that could totally be a thing. Well, I'm, I'm a human, so... That would hurt. One of my VTuber friends doesn't have an eyeball, though. I think she has, like, a magic eight ball or something. I've never asked. It's weird. Anyways, um... You can check her out. Sigrid and Bird. But, like... Grimmy is free and no one can stop her. I am free here. And I'm not gonna tear out my eyeballs, but thank you. I'm just a person, though. I can occasionally have some glowy eyes and stuff, but that's- that's more of like, um... I don't know. That's like probably something in the water. That's like probably something where it's like you eat too much, like, um... I don't know. Uh... You drink too much tap water. There's a lot of chemicals in it. There's a lot of chemicals in it. That sounds so painful? No. 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 Eyeballs are kind of useful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, oh uh, god. I don't know. The top, like, five things that I wouldn't want to have happen to me? Eyeball trauma is probably one of them. Tortured to death is another. That's why I have, like, a lot of guns and stuff I'm ready to kill people with. Ain't no one gonna do that. I'll travel with them, even. I, I shouldn't, but, like, I should probably get, like, a gun that, like, I can travel with. That'd be awesome. I want to do that. I have a taser. I have pepper sprays and stuff. I have like a big giant pepper spray too that like could pepper spray a bear. Cause you never know when you're gonna find a bear too and bears will kill you in a very brutal and sad way. Grimmy is getting a taste of freedom and I'm afraid this is her last YouTube stream based on the route we're going. I'm gonna be here every day. I'm gonna be here every, every day, probably not. I'm gonna be on Twitch mostly, but I'm gonna be here kind of, I'm gonna be here once a week. A lot of chemicals that turn the friggin' frogs gay. That is actually true! The frogs became, um... Wait, no, okay. It, it's more complicated than that, but we did figure this out last night. It turns the frogs into hermaphrodites. Someone was putting chemicals in the water to turn the frogs into hermaphrodites. So there you go. Now you know. The frogs are hermaphrodites. So I guess in some way they are homosexuals, but more they're, um... I don't even know where you'd start with that one. Grammy looks so happy about the pepper spray. If you had a big old can of pepper spray, you'd be happy too. Don't lie. Don't lie. You're envious of my pepper spray. I've always wanted to use it though, but I haven't been able to yet. It's gonna be like a cloud that goes... It's gonna be crazy. I'm excited. What kind of gun does Grimmy have, if I may ask? I have... Uh... I could go get them. I should go get them later. I'll talk about this next stream if I remember. But I have a revolver. And then I have a single barrel shotgun. Then I have like a handgun, but I'm not sure of, like, the make or model of any of them, but they're very, probably cheap, like, is the thing. <laughs> the bullets that I have for the revolver are a little bit long and, like, barely fit in it. It's probably gonna, like, have a really... Oh, I need to fix that. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. It's okay, I'll figure it out. Alex Jones was actually right, but he blew it out of proportion. I think he was right about this one specific thing. Grimmy, why did... Why, why, do, why do you think my name is spelled with a Y? Grimy? How dare you. How dare you? How dare you? Pay attention, my name is Grimmy. That's rude of me. I apologize for saying that. You can call me whatever. Oh my goodness. Why did you turn the frogs into hermaphrodites? I didn't. 
it was... I don't know what company it was, actually. Like, I kind of was just like, oh, Alex Jones was right? And then I immediately moved on forever. Like, I didn't really think about it past that point. There's probably, like, a big, like, actual conspiracy theory there. Like, if he was right about, like, that, like, there's probably, like, a company just dumping chemicals in bad places, but we all just kind of went, he's silly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. He's silly. That's so funny. So, interesting. Grimy and greasy, how dare you? I, I need to think of a fan name for you guys. I think... I'm never gonna top, like, Sleepyheads or Bug Bros or The Grapevine. My friends have really good fan names for their guys. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. I keep thinking, like, this'll be the one, and then I'm like, oh, that one's okay. Oh, this'll be the one. Oh, that one's okay. I like the fruit roll-up of Flat Earth Theory. Ooh, fruit roll-ups are good. Oh, actually, I kind of understand why people are... Okay, like, people are flat earthers just because, like, all of their friends are. And, like, if they go, like, I think the Earth's round, they'll be like, Oh my god, I hate you. I've spent 14 years of my life with you, and you're saying the Earth is round now? Our children know the Earth is flat. You're doing this to all of us today? And then that guy goes, like, Never mind, honey, you're so right. And they never leave that little area of their life. It's very weird. But it makes sense. It makes sense. You want to be... You want to be with the people. You want to be with your family. What's your most skibbity edge? I don't know what that means and I will not respond to it, but I'm happy that you asked that question. There's no stupid questions. There's just stupid people, but it's not you, it's me in this case. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, let's see. I do live in a big ghost mansion. That's true. Call us grandma candies? That's nice. That's nice. That's a little grimgo. Grimlins. Gringos? I don't think- is that like a bad thing to say? That seems like a bad one. That seems like a bad one. Alex Jones is a government plant because he makes people sound crazy. Oh, maybe, actually. That's like a very time, uh, time and tested, like, way of, like, I guess, like, making things look less bad? Like, if there's someone really, really, really crazy that, like, you don't like, you're gonna not believe 90% of the things they say, even if they're from, like, a rational person. The best thing you can kind of have is, like, <laughs> the best thing you can kind of have, like, as a giant company, is someone really unlikable going like, We hate you! You did this! And everyone will be like, well, we don't like that person. They're really weird. So we don't care if you're doing that big company. Like, it's kind of messed up. Like a gang thing. Oh, Grimsters. Nick Grimmies. Huh, Nickel Grims. That's interesting. Oh. Oh, in South America. Oh, wow. Interesting. Grimlins goes hard. Yeah, Grimlins is cute. But you guys aren't all gremlins. What's what's a cute name for you guys? Let me think. G. G. Mm. <coughs> Pardon me. Pardon me, I sneezed. Hmm. Incredible conspiracy about the conspiracy thirst. That's a, it's true though. Like it's been something that people have used in the past. If you look up Edward Bernays, um Crystallizing public opinion, it's one of the key factors you can do if you want to change people's opinions and stuff. Having someone super annoying on your side is, like, way worse than having someone, like, helpful but, like, pointing out small criticisms, like, you did something, like, really messed up morally as, like, a big company. Like, that's... It's pretty interesting, though. On the other hand, if you try to, like, make someone look worse, if you're, like, a big company and people generally have, like, a good, like, uh perspective like if they're just like oh this person's nice they will get really angry like it's kind of like a weird back and forth it's really neat though the concept of propaganda propaganda edwards Bern edward bernier's crystallizing public opinion please check it out the grim reapers that's cute um what's like the cutest thing though maybe something with propaganda and like mind control grim uh i'll think about it i'll think about it later did you ever make that propaganda method stream? That'd be cool. We could do something like that. It's kind of messed up though. Like it's it's essentially mind control in certain ways. Like you're very okay. Crystallizing public opinion was like most based around like this stuff. If there's something that you Oh, this is kind of messed up. Okay. Uh okay. Do not do this ever. This is super messed up. Do not do this. Do not do this. Do not do this. Wisps. Ooh. Maybe like... Uh, or specters. Ooh. Like, okay, I'll, I'll think about this. That's really cool. What is Skelter? We know its name, but... 
I don't know, he's a cat. He's my little guy. He's my cat. I found him when I was going crazy. He's my little buddy. I love Skelter. Um... So... What people can do to, like, make people's opinions change even if they don't believe them? Like, even if you're just like, this is objectively wrong, this is objectively wrong, this is objectively wrong. Um, you can make them feel like the person or thing that they're defending is going to be something that makes other people dislike them. So it's kind of how cults work, too. So if you're a cult, what you do is if anyone tries to leave, or if anyone goes like, this is actually bad, or if anyone questions, like, your methods, what you do is you go, this person sucks. Oh my goodness, they didn't understand our vision. Oh my god, what an evil person. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious, they're stupid. They're stupid for all these reasons. Oh my goodness gracious. And then, um... And then anyone that, like, sides with them or, like, even is a little bit more, like, sympathetic to them, you go, how could you be sympathetic to this person? Do you believe this too? Do you believe this? Do you believe that- Do you believe this? Do you believe that we're bad people? You don't believe we're bad people, right? How dare you? How dare you? And then, um, yeah, shaming into compliance. So if you feel like you're gonna be pit against, like, a tribe or, like, all of your friends and stuff, like, you're way less likely to ever leave a situation. Using social, uh, um, needs to manipulate people. That's what a lot of people do, though. I've seen that a lot online. Yeah, it often happens. It's like a cult thing, but it's transfers to online stuff. That literally describes modern social media? It might. Um, that's why if you ever run into a problem on social media, you need to leave the internet for a few days. It's just, um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of, like, other ways to describe it, but essentially, it's- it also keeps you from, like, going, like, maybe we deserve better treatment in this, uh, I don't know, like, this, uh, this soda factory. <laughs> maybe we deserve better treatment in this soda factory that's starting up, and they'll be like, how could you say that? Just because- just because- just because Daniel left? Daniel was an idiot. Daniel didn't know what he had here at the soda factory. And you're saying you want to leave the soda factory? Nine dollars is a lot of money per hour! You're- you're being very- you're being very immature. It's kind of like if you talk to someone like you're their parent, <laughs> even though like you're an adult, like it's super messed up. But if you make everyone else go like, yeah, yeah, they suck. They suck. It's very easy to turn people against them. And like, I don't know, it's super messed up. But that's how you can control public opinion, the crystallization of public opinion. Um, but it doesn't work forever is the thing. It doesn't work forever. And if you attack someone that's like too well liked, they kind of, like, end up in bad situations. Like, that happens consistently, too. Or even if you have, like... You could have, like, even a sizable amount of people, but people are gonna get really upset that, like, X, Y, or Z cult is, like, attacking X, Y, or Z person. You guys get paid to work? Andrew C., you are going through it. Grimmy Creepers. Ooh, Grim Creepers is kinda cute. Creepers. Grim Creepers. I- I- cause, like, I'm not a reaper. Like, I don't reap people's souls and stuff, but I am a little bit creepy. Grim Creeper. Ooh, that's kind of neat. You guys could be like little... I don't know, I'd have to like figure out a design for you guys, but... Because Skelter's not... Skelter's not you, this is just Skelter. The coal mine owner. Oh what, you don't want to play Minecraft in real life anymore? I thought the kids loved Minecraft. Kids labor laws are coming back into effect and you don't want to work in the mines? What is this? Everyone said the kids love the mines, they yearn for them. You yearn for them for like half an hour, get back in there. Get back in there. Did you know where I could find your Mass Effect 2 streams on YouTube? Um, that's actually gonna be worked on in April. So, I have someone that is going to... And they've kept archives of my streams for a while. But, uh... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start paying them to run the official archive channel. And they're also gonna go back and download some of the streams from my old... YouTube. So it should... It's gonna take a while, but they will eventually be caught up with, like, almost everything that I've had. Uh, so long as it still exists. Like, the Omegaverse stream I did once, I don't think that one's ever gonna exist, and I'm very sorry. I took that one down because I thought it was very awkward to do. And I wasn't as powerful back then. I wasn't as strong. A Pokemon urine for the mice? Don't make Pokemon do that. I don't like Power World. Not because of all the weird politics surrounding it and how people are kind of pitting it against Pokemon. I don't like Power World because you're mean to little guys. I don't want it. I don't want it. Also, yeah, the political scene in the U.S. has used this in the past few years. It's possible. Like, I don't know. Like, it's hard to tell just because... I don't think people do it intentionally. Like, they don't read a book and go like, This is what I'll do. But they kind of do it unconsciously, I guess. Coward, I don't like the little pal worlds fighting. I want them to be happy. 
I want them to be happy, happy little guys. Will the tarot stream come back? Which one? There have been quite a few. I've done quite a few of them. I've done quite a few tarot streams. Uh, was that the Forbidden First YouTube stream? This is the Forbidden First YouTube stream. The Omegaverse stream was when I spent an hour and a half describing what the Omegaverse was for a stream. Although I did find out later that one of my friends that I eventually came better, became better friends with was watching. <laughs> uh, because she sent me a picture of her cat watching my stream and I was like, oh, it's him! And then I was like, oh, wait, I've only used that background once. My stream only looked like this once. <laughs> It was the Omegaverse stream. She was watching. Her cat was watching. But, um... Are you going to open Super Chats? I don't know how to do that. But, um... Maybe, at some point, if I can. It would be cool. I know that it's, uh... Hard to do, though. But I will eventually, if I can. I missed the last couple of tarot streams. I would love to do another tarot stream. I would love to. Like, that would be lovely. They're really fun to, like, do, and, like, you just get to, like, talk to a bunch of people and tell them little things about their lives and go, like, you must, you must go to a mountain and relax. That's not how they go ever. It's more like, oh, man, you might have been feeling real bad about yourself and letting people treat you real bad in terms of your workplace environment, huh? Huh? I bet so. I bet so. Omegaverse truly brings people together. How wholesome. Oh, you knew it was pee-pee head, Daniel. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Now every stream is the Omegaverse stream. No, it's just that people bring it up so much because they're just like, what is that? And then it's an interesting thing to say. Also, hello, Vincent Frick. Oh, it's Mr. Frick. How are you feeling with your YouTube stream vibes so far? I feel a little lost without emotes. You guys have all been very nice people to not have to use emotes here. Are you going to stream on YouTube often? I'll probably do it once a week. I'm usually on Twitch, but I'll probably do it every Friday now just because um, I don't want to compete with my buddies that stream on Twitch on Friday that often. So... Maybe I'll just make Friday, like, a designated, like, YouTube stream day. That's probably a good idea. I might do more YouTube stuff, though, because I kind of enjoy it. It's kind of nice. Oh, we don't have emotes. We don't have Skelter here. Skelter can't be in, like, the emotes anymore. It's kind of messing me up. Became better friends with her due to the Omegaverse. That's not what I said. Uh, I had a similar experience when I met someone online who shared my- That's not what I said. In no way, shape, or form was that what I said. Thank you, Jack. Um, that's not what I said. I'm not into the Omegaverse. I'm into the concept of people finding joy in it and being super uh, excited for the concept of it. I... Uh, how do I put this? I'll be honest with you. I like object heads the most. Which is a very weird thing to like, but it's not really Fujoshi stuff. You are... Oh, we don't have my pumpkin pie emotes. My little kitty. My little kitty. Grimmy Tube Fridays? That'd be cool. And maybe I'll actually stay on topic next time. Okay. What's your favorite thing to eat? There we go. We're back on topic. What's your favorite thing to eat? We must grow and get emotes. Maybe. I don't know how long you have to do this stuff for before you can do that. I would like more YouTube stuff because I have an irrational hatred of Twitch. Ah, many people do. Many people do. I like Twitch, though. Uh, it's a little bit different, but I kind of like YouTube as well. It feels a little bit more like it's just a stream with you guys. Like, and before on Twitch, it was kind of like... You could definitely interact a lot more with your buddies, but it's kind of different. I like it. Both are very fun. I can't raid anyone after this. Oh my god, that's so weird. I can't raid anyone after this! That's so weird! Oh god, sorry, that's so strange. <gasps> okay. Oh, can you, uh, we don't need to talk about what object heads are. Um, food. Your favorite food is food. Where did VTubers come from? I think a lost sense of humanity. Uh, souls. Ooh. Uh, key lime pie was the only velvet cake too. Ooh, that's nice. Thank you. Those are both really good. I'm not a big fan of like citrus desserts, but I'm happy for you. Both platforms have pros and cons. It's true. Raids can be done by linking active streams on YouTube. What? Huh? I'll figure that out later. Maybe I could at least raid like, I don't know, like Lumi or something or Pipa. I think, I think there's some other ones on here. Like maybe the. Maybe the Mirai ladies or the, like, someone from there. I, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I think you have to get, like, their permission or something. I've heard, like, a really long time. I'll figure it out. This isn't, this isn't what I need to think about now. We're in the moment. He's in the eye was your initiation. Oh, wow. I think, like, the first VTuber was probably... The Annoying Orange? I think there was one way before that, even. 
say Pippa? Why? What's wrong? Oh, salmon. Oh, salmon. Oh, that stuff's so good. I love sushi. I love sushi. I know you could get a terrifying parasite and like get a tapeworm, but I love sushi. Hi, Grimmy sexy model. Am I sexy now? I don't know about that. I don't have any... I don't have any jiggler, like boing. I specifically said, give me... I don't want the boobs to look sexy. I want them to be like, kind of like, you know. I want them to like, be like, just, you know. Just, just stationary almost. Just a tiny bit of physics. I don't think she put any in them. I appreciate that. Fubuki. Oh, she's so cute. And her love of Wendy's sandwiches. That's lovely. Hello, first time viewer. Hello, first time viewer. How are you? Milk cap. Why are you called that? The annoying orange is probably someone's Oshi. Maybe. Otacon from Metal Gear Solid 2 is like maybe one of the first PNG tubers. The first PNG tuber. I don't know if you guys have played Metal Gear Solid 2, but at the end of the tanker section, there's a slot. There's this little tiny place where if you send Otacon different photos, he'll kind of go like, oh, this is cool, or oh, this is weird, or why did you send this uh, photo of a man not wearing pants 17 times, Snake? Is there anything you want to tell me? It's okay. I, I still care about you, but, um... This is pretty much harassment at this point. What are you doing? Okay, Snake. Okay, you, you did it again. Okay, that's really uncomfortable for me. I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. I remember that! That- he was the Pinch Tuber. Grimmy can't raid after stream. No worries, Grimmy. Just think of it as one less thing to worry about. But they want to. Everyone can go and say hi to someone at some point. Oh! Uh, JTG, you, um... I'm sure that a lot of people very much appreciate that, but I don't know if that is giving- I'm sure it's giving you some sustenance, but not, um, not, like, psychological. I'm not gonna keep responding to that, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, um, I'll just make a backup of this one. It was really funny if you sent them any sexy ladies, they'd make a backup of it. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, pizza with mushrooms and pepperoni is what I like. That's a lovely food that will not get me- into trouble for talking about. That's fair. Thank you very much. Pizza with mushrooms. Pizza toppings. That's a very nice, relaxing topic. Tell me more about your favorite. You're also a first-time viewer. And what's your favorite pizza topping? Wait, wait a second. Hmm. I have a feeling some of you are tricking me. Probiotics? Probiotics? You like probiotics? That's not food, that's like... I know that they're important, but... The amount of things people thought probiotics could fix in one community. Mamma mia. It's is delicious. YouTube disappeared him? Oh no. I love cheese pizza. I'm very basic. Cheese pizza is really good. Um... I eat like the weird fake cheese stuff, but... I'll often get like a pizza and then cool it down in the fridge if it's just cheese, and then I'll eat that later. It for some reason tastes better to me than if it's like warm. Other- if it has toppings on it, I'll eat it warm though. It's different, I don't know. It's like a nice little cool treat. I don't get it, but it's- it's delicious. Oh yeah! I am a spicy streamer. I made a hot sauce. I'm the spiciest streamer. Yes, yes. Um... I don't know if like I... I'm very bad at being like sexy or like flirting, so I can't really do that. Like I've tried, it does not go well. Whenever I order a pizza, I get vegan chorizo. Oh, and Kalamata olives as toppings. Oh, that's nice. There's, I think, a place that serves that, like... There's, like, a chain in some areas that does. Chicken and mushroom with no sauce is an awesome pizza. I feel like Papa Murphy's does it the best. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Oh. They have a lot of different types of pizza now. Your voice is soothing. I can almost use this as ASMR material. If I can cut out the Omegaverse part, you are going to change. Congratulations. In a year, you're gonna... You're gonna be thinking about fellas very differently if you use this as ASMR. It's going to reprogram your brain at night. I'm, I'm putting in secret little hidden things in the music cues. Yes. You're going to be very different eventually. Basic cheese and pepperoni? That's a good one, though. Are you winning, Grimbo? Not sure. Probably not. I'm happy, though. I guess I'm winning in terms of life. I enjoy everything pizza, no limits. Whatever the place has. It's a microscope of their entire business structure displaying what they are brave enough to give to the customer. You're a- you're- you're- you're interesting. Okay. Sultry could work? I don't think I could do that. I could, like, do a, like, 
ASMR about like a late like yonder a lady like kidnapping you and then like doing it really poorly and going like oh my god I'm so sorry like I I tried to like not stab you but like I know I stabbed you a little bit I don't know how to pull the knife out oh my god I don't I don't want to call the police because I'll get arrested would you would you be willing to say that you kidnapped me that would be really nice of you I don't know it's, it's, it's just gonna be really awkward oh my god oh my god oh my god though you're not I don't think I stabbed you in a bad place maybe I could just like um I could take you to the vet. Would you go to the vet? I know you're a person, but I could take you to the vet. I've seen it in, like, television shows where, like, um, they take someone to the vet after they get shot, and, like, that that's thats what, like, drug cartels do and stuff in, in, in movies. So I can take you to the vet, and we can do that. I'll, I'll take you to the vet, okay? So, um, let, let's do that. Okay, okay, don't tell anyone that I, I, I'm gonna, um, okay, please, please, please. I know I can stab you to death, but, like, okay, okay, we're gonna go really slowly. Okay, yeah, yeah, so there we go. There you go. I could do something like that, maybe. And then... Actual Yandere shows up and kills her at the end. That would be really funny. Oh, I like that concept. I didn't mean to disembowel you. Teehee. It would be even more pathetic than that. I love a woman who can stab me repeatedly. Or will stab you repeatedly. Why? Are you okay? You need to- you probably need some water. You need a little bit of water. What's your- what's your amino acid profile looking like? You might need some help. You're- you're- you're hanging on by a thread. I would love that. Okay, drink some water, drink some water. There you go, there you go. I... I'm really worried about the men on the internet. You guys have problems. You guys have a lot of problems. Uh... Hmm. I tuned out and come back or me threatening me again. No, 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 no. This was, uh, this was me saying I could do that type of ASMR. Um... Oh yeah, of course. Of course, Vincent. Uh, I understand. Uh, I think it's- I think it's cool. I am a spicy VTuber. I have a hot sauce. There you go. I like a woman stabbing me on my pizza. What would blood taste like on a pizza? Probably not amazing. There's probably some stuff blood would taste good on, but like, ugh. It's also like, you don't know where that blood's been. They could've like, had a tapeworm. <laughs> you don't want to eat someone's blood. They could've eaten raw pork. They could've eaten raw pork. I will never eat raw pork. Ever. You're perfect. Good for you. Good for you. There you go. Don't eat raw pork. I will- I'm begging each and every one of you, never eat raw pork. You will suffer and you will die. Or you'll be fine, but it's not really worth the risk. Oh, that's also nice. Okay. Oh, delay. There's a lot of delay. I'm just gonna keep replying to your stuff. You won't ever know what I'm saying to you. Blood sausage. Ew. Uh. <laughs> Just add your Grimmy brand hot sauce. Boom, perfect pizza. You can get this at saucybiz.com. And... There's also... I forgot the names of the other hot sauces. Good luck. <laughs> this one is Grimmy wants to kill you. I can read it. <laughs> I don't know the names of the other flavors. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Oh well. I only cook bacon for BLTs. That sounded very aggressive and cool for... <laughs> Like, when I read it, I thought, like, yeah, I only cook bacon for BLTs. But that's just a normal thing to say. People eat raw pork? Apparently Germans do. And the thing is, there is a parasite that can live in humans that can be in pork, in raw pork. And that parasite is aggressive, and it can, it can swim up to your brain and put worms in it. That is the worst thing I've ever heard of in my life, and they will live in your skull, and they will kill you as they eat it up. And they will also eat all of your muscles, and all of your organs, and everything else, and you will not know until you're... You're... You're sick. So just... I would never eat pork. I don't think it's a good idea. I would never in any way, shape, or form, even if you nuked it in a microwave for like 20 minutes, I wouldn't do it. It could be charred and black, I still wouldn't risk it. The larva will cause brain lesions and kill you. I would never risk it, ever. A little bit of torture brain- a VTuber brain worms and Grimmy wants to kill you. Thank you very much, Yana. I, uh, I appreciate that. I'm- I need to get better about that. The plug- yeah, it is like Resident Evil 4. There's a parasite that makes humans friendlier to cats. I probably have that. That's, a uh, Toxoplasmosis? Toxoplasmosis. I don't know how you get rid of it, though. I think you just keep it forever. Maybe you'd have to drink a lot of water and hope it goes away. Instead of my last name hits different. Oh yeah, that is very different, huh? I'm happy to I'm happy to be a little different here though. We're a new this is a new Grimmy. This is a new Grimmy. 
I'm on I'm on YouTube. None of my friends can come here and like bully me. I'm happy. Oh my god. I'm 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 doing well. I'm feeling good. Oh my god. Do you have raids turned off intentionally asking for I don't know how. I don't know what I'm doing numbers. I barely managed to get this thing to work. I I realized I needed a thumbnail. That's that's where I'm at right now. I realized I needed a thumbnail after I figured out how to do it and then I went, "Uh-oh. I better take every photo that I Downloads related to food and put it here. If I get a parasite, does that make me Mpreg? No, that makes you pretty close to dying, probably. Um, Mpreg is about... Not gonna continue talking. Have you specifically tried the Harvest Blend flavored Pringles? No, but I have tried something different. Are you ready? You aren't. Now! I didn't have it ready. Pringles! Here we go. This is... weird. If you're a vegan or vegetarian, get ready. If you're anyone, actually. This is weird, no matter what, who you are. This is something you'll probably want. Like, I, I saw this and I want... I went, like, I want the novelty of it. I'm not gonna enjoy it. I want the novelty of it. Why? Also, sorry, numbers. How do I... Uh, do you want me to tell you how to turn them on? Yes, that's... I can do that if you like. I can shout out your friends if they raid me. That would be very kind of you. I don't know what I'm doing. These are chicken fried. Fake chicken fry. Vegan chicken fries. And they're Pringles flavored. Original Pringles flavored. Doing well? Yes, I found out about these fries. Why do these exist? <laughs> Extra crunchy? Maybe. I think they're like potato flavored. Why do these exist? I want to buy them though. I might. I might buy them and try them. Maybe I'll try these next week. Like that could be something. We'll have a continue. We'll have a narrative here. We'll have one stream a week here and we'll have a narrative. It'll be fun. They actually slap, do they? Have you had these? Wait, have you had these? Be honest, are you... Vegetarian. Oh, a vegetarian center. Yeah! Sorry, I say those in really disruptive and annoying ways just because I thought it would be funny once, and, uh... Settings in YouTube community. What's YouTube community? Studio! Okay, wait, 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 I can do this. Okay, give me one second. I'm learning. This is what it feels like to learn. I'm feeling good about myself. I'm, I'm, I'm learning. Okay, let's go here. Uh, studio. So, that's like upload video, I think. And you go to, uh, you go to community? I don't think I have that button. Maybe it's just like, this is my first stream? Like, I think I don't have... I'm at dashboard, wait. Where's studio? This is studio, right? Yeah, studio, studio! Oh, there's a different one! No, that's... I don't think I have community. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm... I think I'm too new. The way you say vegan has been driving me crazy for the past two years, and I will continue! I like it. Probably uses potato protein as a major ingredient. The pr Pringles flavor, yeah. Pringles flavor is them saying it's not a bug, it's a feature. Like, they probably had to pay Pringles or vice versa, though. I don't know who's winning in this scenario. Like, I, I barely ever know that. Like, if you want to put, like, Sonic's face on something, I think you have to pay Sonic and, like, Sega. I think. I don't know what dictates, like, advertising for the game versus advertising for, like, the food. I don't know who wins there. I don't know how much money they get each. Uh, I like when she says peepa. Why? That one's normal. Peepa. Peepa. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. I like... <laughs> I really like saying Peppa Pig, but I've never seen that show. It, it brings me a lot of happiness. Vegan from the star system Vega. Yes. I don't know. Say words however you want them. Have you gained 1,000... Wait, what? I gained 1,000 subscriptions? Thank you very much, you guys. I appreciate that. I really do. I... have intentionally turned off the viewer number because I will go completely insane. That's not something for me. That's not something for me. I will go crazy if I see how many people are watching me. I will go crazy. But it's been nice. It's been a smaller stream. It's been relaxing. I'm sure you have the setting. My one doesn't have that button. You can't prove it. 
Okay, I'll look for it. Oh, it does. Sorry, numbers. Okay, numbers. I am so sorry. Yep, you were right. Um, so I did have that button. I, um... I was just, uh, stupid. And, um... Is it all channels can redirect to my content? So channels I subscribe to can redirect to my content. I don't subscribe to that many people on YouTube. I subscribe to, like, people that, like, talk about, like, what it was like to, like, be born in, like, I don't know, medieval times and, like, try to make bread. But I don't subscribe to that many people on YouTube on this account, so... I'm- I'm okay with that, though. Do you want me to follow your buddy numbers? Peepa. Oh, Peepa Pig. Ah, oh, Peepa Pig would be cute, too. Peppa Pig. Peppa. But, um... That should be it? Okay. Save. I think I worked it out. Good luck. I didn't know you stream on YouTube. Oh my goodness, yes. This is my first stream actually anywhere. This is my first stream ever. This is my first stream ever. Um, I'm Grimmy. I'm Grimmy. You follow that account too? I love tasting history. Who doesn't love tasting history? It's an amazing, it's an amazing, amazing channel. I love that you love that guy. I'm gonna get the tasting history cookbook. I'm gonna do it. All channels can reach back to my content. Should allow raids from anyone? Okay, I'm excited. Let's get some scary hate raids. Don't actually do that. But I think it would be funny. But don't actually do- I don't know. I think it would be funny. Like, I'm pretty- I'm pretty chill. What, 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 you, what could you even say? You're stupid. You're annoying. You're- I, I know that. I'm happy. I like being myself, even if it's very bothersome to other people. Born in medieval times? Ah, uh, the 80s. Is that how it's said now? I think it's- Oh. <laughs> the 80s is a long time now, like a way, huh? I guess it's always been, like, a long time away. Oh. The 90s are, too. The 2000s are getting further away, too. Oh. Ever since Aethel whipped out your sauces on stream, I clicked- Oh, that's so nice! That's so nice of you! I- th I- I- Don't tell Aethel this, please. I'm begging you, don't tell Aethel or Neoners this, please. But after they tried the hot sauce, I realized I need to put a white person warning label on most of them. So, a few people have requested this. Um, some some people that are um, of the Caucasian um, ethnicity can eat hot sauce, and they're very fine with it. They're okay. But there is a small subset of Caucasian men and women that have a much lower spice tolerance. And when that's the case, we need to make sure that they're protected. I'm telling her, please do not. Oh god, no. Um, how about, uh, but, but I'm probably gonna start putting that warning label on most of the hot sauces that are... Really? Yes. Um... I... <laughs> I think it's important. Like, the thing is... My sister said ketchup is spicy. See, those are the nice white people we need to protect. We need to protect them and keep them safe and give them little pats on the head. They can't- they can't handle Grimmy wants to kill you. Like, Aethel was just- Aethel and Yanners were just like, I can't taste anything in this. It's like one of those crazy hot hot sauces where, like, you can't taste anything. Oh my god, it hurts. And I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. They cannot see this. They cannot- they cannot- okay, they cannot see this, Corgi, but- But they could not try the other hot sauce flavors! This is like a very, like- This is like baby spicy hot sauce. Like, it's like the, like, you know, like, I want to taste, like, a little bit of flavor and spice. Like, that's the level of hot sauce it is. I was like, oh my god, they're gonna die. If they try to taste, like, the new one that's coming out, they're gonna die. If they try to taste the, like, super ultra omega death one, they're gonna, like, literally end up in the hospital. <laughs> uh... But, you know what? It's okay. Not that they'll end up in the hospital. Just that, um... Yeah, we... We need to... When salt is spicy? I don't think they're too salty. Are they? Oh, you mean... What... Do white people find salt spicy? Not all of you. Not all of you. Um, Lucy was... Lucy also tried, like, the bomb hot sauce. She was very sick. Um, she liked... I think she liked the Grimmy Wants to Kill You one, but it was really hurting her. It's a joke, Grimmy? Oh, okay. It's alright if people find salt spicy. I think you should probably try to expand your horizons a little bit, though. It's okay, it's okay. You're... Huh. You were polite and kind, but somehow unhinged and terrifying? Oh, that's nice. Please do not change after the silly zone is removed. I probably won't. Um, that's gonna make it so I can remember what I say ten minutes ago. And, like, not have to sleep, like, 15 hours. 
and have some ability to regulate when I eat food and drink water because I don't have any natural desire to eat food or drink water. I think that's probably the worst thing. I thought it was related to my medication, but now I know a bunch of people on Wellbutrin and they are not having this issue at all. Like, some of them have it a little bit where they forget to eat, but I think it's probably more related to the silly zone. So, once I get it out of my head, it'll be a lot better. Once they deflate that cyst, I'll have like two or three extra inches of brain. It'll be going great. Also, yeah, um, who are the mods? I think it's Fuzzy and Yama and um, all of the cats. And Nox, and all the cats. What kind of salt that is spicy of- Oh, I've never heard of spicy salt. That would be fun, actually. <gasps> oh my god, maybe we could make spicy salt for the hot sauce stuff. I'd have to, like, find another factory, though, and then see if they'd want to produce- Well, hmm. I could pr uh, I'm thinking. Because right now, I work with a specific factory, and they've been really nice. I could ask them to do other stuff, but they'd have to, like, prepare for it and, like, change their methods of doing stuff. Like, they're pretty much only making hot sauce right now. Uh, I'll figure it out. She's gonna be a genius after this? Thank you! I, I hope so. I, um, I used to be very smart. I used to remember things a lot. I used to do, like, very, very, like, well things. And then, a few years ago, I was just like, oh, I guess I'm dumb now. Like, not in a negative way. I just don't remember as much. So I can't really, like, study languages as easily. But it's okay. That's life. Spicy chocolate is really good. Ooh, we can make spicy chocolate for next Valentine's Day. That would be so fun! Caffeine is where all the business is at right now. Yeah, like gamer sups. If you drink gamer sups... You can use cu they sold out of all the cute little lady cup today. Um already. They sell out in like 20 minutes. You can use code Grimmy, but you can't get any sleepy bitches. Sorry for using that word, but I think it's just cute to call them sleepy bitches. You can't get any of them, unfortunately. They are they are sold out, but they are very cute. And now they even have like sleepy sleepy powders. They have sleepy powders now. So that's kind of nice. I'm excited to try it. They're sending me a little bit of sleepy powder. Um so that'll be cool. How do you even get to talking to- taking- talking to a place to produce something like that? Uh, the brains? Oh, no, 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 uh, the hot sauce, the hot sauce. Well, this was a company slash factory that I followed for like, um... Hmm, like a long time, like at least five years. And... I guess I shouldn't say which one they are, but like... I followed them for five years, and then I called them, and I was super awkward. And I was like, man, I can't do this. This is gonna be- This is gonna be- Because I wanted to make hot sauce of my own. Uh, just like one hot sauce for me. Grimmy wants to kill you. Uh, I wanted to make a hot sauce. And... It was a very awkward conversation. It was talking to like a 50-year-old dude. And I'm very scared on the phone. And I really didn't plan out what I was gonna ask him or anything. I was just like, I want a hot sauce made. And they were like, okay, it would cost like this amount of money to like do this and do this. And I was like, okay. Uh, please email me these things. And then he didn't. And instead of following it- Also, we were- Also, I was just always trying to call them and, like, they'd want to try to call me at, like, 6 a.m. to talk about it. Because, like, they lived in a different time zone. It was the start of their day and I was not down for that. You two hangs up. Yep. It was very... Yeah. Then I went to, like, my manager and I was like, Seth, I'm so sorry, but can you help me with this? I'm really sorry to bother you. And he was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you doing this? What? Why didn't you talk to me about this? And I was like, I didn't want to bother you. I didn't want to bother the managers. I'm sorry. And they were like, we can, we can help you. And that's how it all got, got started. I'm very happy about it, though. They typically forget. They have, like, really long work days and stuff. Like, so I understand. They wanted to just get it done at the start of the work day. They probably came in and went like, oh, I missed a call from that little girl. Let me call her back. And I would be unconscious. Or I would wake up and look at it and go, no. <laughs> I want to be unconscious still. So that's what happened. Everything is going good, though. I'm very happy. It's also really helping the hot sauce factory because, um... They were not doing amazing. And with this, they might be able to, like, do a little better because people have been buying a lot of it, so that's cool. That's, like, manager work? Yeah, but I didn't want to bother them. I was... silly. I don't know. Can't let the manager manage. They do it more now. It's okay. They do it more now. Grimmy was, like, straight hot... The stray hot sauce kitten outside the office that they took it again. food no! They're very nice people, though. They probably do that. I think they'd save a kitten. They'd probably take it home with them and be like, Hello, oh my goodness. We're gonna call you, we're gonna call you Carolina Reaper. We're gonna call you Carolina Reaper. That's so cute. Ooh, Carolina Reaper. Caroline, Caroline Reaper. That's so nice. 
I didn't save the hot sauce factory. We're we're gonna have to like do a lot more, but we're we're working. It'll be cool. They're a very nice they're a very nice group. Would Manager Grimmy have done better? If I had tried to call anyone as Manager Grimmy, I think they would probably report me to the police. I will never do that. Uh, I will never do that. For those of you that are unaware... Good news, everyone. Good news, everyone. What is it? But for those of you that are unaware, I sometimes do a voice where I pretend to be people's manager. So let's say, um... Let's say you wanted to, uh, I don't know. You want to start a pizza company. Did you know there's a way you could start a pizza company? Only a couple thousand dollars a setup, and you don't have to lift a finger? Yeah, what they call it is a ghost kitchen. A ghost kitchen. Now people aren't gonna love the food. They're not gonna love the food. But you know what they are gonna love? Delivery. Once it gets to them, it doesn't matter if it's good or not. You got that delivery money in your hands. You want to get involved with a ghost kitchen. What they do now, they have these giant warehouses where people are in little rooms and then they take their little money and they put their little ingredients together and they put it on a little treadmill and they get that down to the people that pick it up. It's a ghost kitchen. Yeah. And it's very, very helpful for you if you want to make the same food as everyone else and give it to the people. You know that Mr. Beast? You know that Beast Burger? Yeah, you know that Beast Burger? That's it. He uses the Mr. Beast Beast Burger at all those ghost kitchens across America. If you've ever eaten a Mr. Beast Burger, I hope you haven't. But if you've ever eaten, well, actually, you know, whatever, I don't own you. If you've ever eaten a Mr. Beast Burger, you've been supporting a ghost kitchen. Yeah, it's not one of those ones he had in the video where he had all his friends come in and made a fast food restaurant. It's a very interesting service where they use the cheapest ingredients and they save a lot of money. I don't think you should do that, though. That seems a little bit rough. Ghost Kid Kitchen Pyramid Scheme? It's legitimately real, though. I watched a video on it earlier. Beast Burger wasn't that bad. Heard they ended those. Yeah, well, what you were probably eating was Carl's Jr. or something. Like, essentially, or, um, I guess, like, just a random, like, burger. I think they actually went cheaper than that. But, like, what those burgers were, were, um, they would hire different, like, restaurants all across America. Whoa, Jane and John. Oh my god, you guys should get married. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Oh, sister? Never mind. Okay, never mind. Uh, that's true. You guys all have the same last name. Never mind. Um, you, you guys be polite with each other. I'm sure that you- I'm so happy you found each other again. Um, but, uh, if you've ever had a, like, if you've ever had a Mr. Beast, like, burger, it was from a ghost kitchen. They had no quality control, probably, and they might have not even given you, like, the cool Mr. Beast bag. Like, I at least want those, like, weird ghost kitchen burgers and stuff to come in, like, a cool box or a bag. Like, if I'm getting the box or the bag, I'll be satisfied. I have a lot of desire for novelty. I'm just saying. If you, like, go, like, this is the Hello Kitty burger, you can get it on Uber Eats, it's gonna be $17, oh my goodness. And then you're gonna have to pay for delivery, and you're gonna have to pay the fees for people to handle it. Like, I'll do that. But it better have Hello Kitty on it. It better have some Hello Kitty on it. It doesn't matter what. It could just be like a little tiny fry holder. It better have some Hello Kitty on it. The Mr. Beef, Bur Beef Burger here is just a Ruby's Tuesday. Yeah, see, they rent out different places. And like, they just go like, well, you make this for everyone that wants to eat a Mr. Beast Burger. And they go, okay. And then like, it's just like, well, you put this in a bag that says Mr. Beast Burger. And half of them, them probably go like, no. I'm not going to remember this. I don't care. <laughs> there you go. Mr. Beast was feeding us raw pork. Oh my god, please don't eat pork. It's just not worth it. It's just- I eat sushi, though. Like, but, I mean, a tapeworm's different than, like, pork at this point. I don't know. I would never trust pork. I really hope that, like, those scary pork parasites never get introduced to fish. I don't think they can be, right? Because they have different body temperatures. They have different body temperatures. They have different body temperatures. Fish have different body temperatures. They can't do that to you. Uh, Grimmy like Hello Kitty merch that much? Uh, no, not really. I just think it's- I crave novelty! <laughs> I crave novelty, so if I see something like this is the Final Fantasy Popeye's Chicken Experience, I'll order it. And as long as it has a picture of Cloud on it somewhere, or a picture of Sephiroth, or a picture of something, I'll be like, this is the Final Fantasy Popeye's Chicken Experience. Wow, I'm getting the Final Fantasy Popeye's Chicken Experience? Oh my god, I'll feel very satisfied. But, if they don't, if they do not, have a little Final Fantasy thing on it, I will be so angry. <laughs> I wouldn't like can- Oh, yo! Hello! Numbers! You guys should go check out Numbers! This is one of my mods on YouTube. 
because she's a cat. And I kind of decide things very arbitrarily and on the spot, so it's nice that she was nice instead of crazy. Please go check her out! Please go check her out! Stop eating chicken. I don't know. Like, what parasites can get you from chicken? Super crab raid. Oh, what was the super crab? Wait, were you hanging out in here and modding while you were streaming? I'm so sorry. I wouldn't have done that to you if I... <laughs> you deserved, though. You were kitty. I think it is a raid. I Raiding is the thing here. Thank you so much, numbers. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I would go far. I would go for a Final Fantasy Moogle burger with some chocobo fries and cactar shake. Oh, that would be amazing! You want to know what's so upsetting? We had that stupid spider burger here for like Burger King, but look at what they have in Japan. Look at what they have in Japan. I'm gonna show you something. You're gonna be upset. You're gonna be upset with this discovery. In Japan, they have Final Fantasy 14 cafes. I just had you on in the background. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Well, thank you so much, numbers. I appreciate that. Whoa. I could control your streams by giving you information throughout them. Numbers. Kill the... It's illegal to say... I was kidding. It's illegal... It's illegal to say... Kill the president. I would never suggest that ever. Please don't arrest me. I would never suggest that ever. 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 Even as a joke. I wouldn't do that. I won't do that. Uh, but here, let's take a look at all these nice Final Fantasy stuff. Okay, okay. I don't know if you can watch YouTube videos on YouTube. They might get angry at me. I don't want to do that. I don't want to get yelled at. Oh my goodness. Okay, so take a look at this. Are you guys a fan of Ifrit or Shiva? Are you guys a fan of Ifrit or Shiva? You might be. So I'm going to show you some stuff. This is from Final Fantasies. Or I think it might be the Square Enix Cafe, but either way. There we go. There we go. The Monster Hunter Cafe looks so good, too. I want the stuff for flavored noodles. I want I want those too. I'm not really good with like fish stuff, but like look at this. You can walk in there and get Shiva's like delicious little like whatever and like a little blue salad down there and like a drink and like look look at that up there. It's like a little it's a little it's a little it's a little arrow and like thing going into like that little orange. I want that orange. And then look at this. Look at this over there. You can get tea because he's warm. Like you can get a you can get like a really cold ice cream drink or you can get tea because he's warm. That's cool. You can also get, like, a egg on top of something. And you can get, like, a really spicy dish, or... Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, Japanese spicy is American medium. And I'm very sorry, but this is a rude thing to say. And I don't mean it in a negative way, but... Japanese spicy is American medium. Korean spicy is American kill you. Just just putting that out there. You guys should really heed this warning. Korean food is a lot spicier than American food. Japanese food is a lot less spicy. Just letting you know. Oh, Penguin, hello. Uh, also, we have these beautiful drinks down here. Like, that's cool. And that's just the first one of them. Meanwhile, we have weird colored hamburgers here. The spider burger was like 15 bucks. And it did not look that interesting. It was $15, you dudes. And it did not look that interesting. Okay, let me show you some more stuff. Um... Oh, this one's cute. Okay, I'll, I'll show you some of the actual food, too. Like, people go there and take pictures. Oh, <gasps> okay, this one's good. This one's really good, okay. So once an hour... That, this is at least how it used to work. Once an hour, someone wins this at the end of their stay. And they get this monolith. They get this terrifying monolith of food, but it's really cute. It's because they won something, and it's like a... It's like the Golden Saucer in Final Fantasy fourteen or seven Or seven. We, we, we have the Golden Saucer back again with Rebirth. There you go. Enjoy your spice at what you like. Exactly. Exactly. Bring me hot sauce as a drink if you're brave enough. Uh, I really don't recommend you do that. Uh, learning all the train routes is essential though? Ooh. Korean food, best food, but I'm Korean, so I'm biased. Uh... I thought you said based for- but I'm Korean, so I'm based. That's fair. But, um, you're biased. Uh... I don't know. Like, Korean food's pretty good, though. Like, there's a lot of really delicious dishes. But look at this. This is... This is so cute. Like, I want this to be the type of novelty food we have in America. Like, look at this. It's so adorable. Like, it's got cherries and berries. I guess both of those are very... But, um... And then, like, little golden coins. And it's got a Moogle. This would be so hard to eat, but it would be so worth it. It's like half a loaf of bread, too. 
Life goal, move to Japan for the cool stuff? Well, there, there's also problems with Japan and like there's pros and cons and stuff. Apparently it's very hard to like, it's very quiet there. And that's probably good for a lot of people, but um, I don't know, I worry like, how would people stream there? Well, like if you have an apartment, what would go on? Or I guess you could just be like PewDiePie and like make a billion dollars. Ooh, this one's cute. Uh, not, not, not PewDiePie related, just um, I'm looking at the Final Fantasy Eorzea Cafe videos. Oh, this one's so cute. This one's so cute. This one's so cute. Okay, uh, here. You guys will see. This is something you can order from the Eorzea Cafe. Or could at some point. They were evolving menu. Some things get taken off. Some things get taken on. And this one is cute. This one is cute. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's a Moogle pancake. Moving to Japan for the rising sun. That's nice. The loaf is hollowed out. Why? Why did they hollow out that loaf of bread? That looked really interesting. Soundproofing? Soundproofing only does so much. Like, you... You can make your sound sound better, but it's very hard to soundproof stuff. Welcome to YouTube. Welcome to YouTube. This is my first day here. My first day as a streamer. First stream. Is that ice cream? Yeah, it's ice cream and pancakes. In Japan, pancakes are kind of considered like dessert, I've noticed. Or, I could be totally wrong, why am I saying that? <laughs> I could just be lying to you, but this is what I've observed at least. Like, they mostly are like a snack item or like a, like, you know, frog. Sorry, uh, I get distracted easily. But like, um, they're mostly like a, like, dessert item, I've noticed. VTuber slash VA Cafe has edible soundproofing- wait, what, really? Is there a VTuber voice actor cafe? Is that real? I'll believe you. I'll believe most of what people tell me. <laughs> Pancakes are basically... Basically are it is Oh, it is true. We- but in America. In America, we like our pancakes, bacon, eggs, hash browns. Yeah. We like our American hash browns. We like our American fried eggs. We like our American pancakes. We like our American sausage. We like our American bacon. Even if it has worms in it. We like it. That's not real? Oh, I believed you, Nishi. I really did. It's okay, though. It was just an idea. It, it would have been really cool. I like the concept of it. They, they probably could make apartment buildings just going like, These are for VTubers! These are for voice actresses and actors! You go check them out! Like, a lot of people would probably be interested in that. There's a market! Find it! Get to it! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, this one's really cool, too. I think this one's based... Yeah, it's based on Alexander. Like, the, uh, the summon. Or alternatively, the, the big giant robot. Like, whatever you want to refer to the mouse. But, like, here, here, here. Check it out, check it out. I'm just on... I'm just finding people's photos on Twitter. It's okay, Nishi. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sh oh, this is too big. <laughs> check it out, though. This is Alexander from a lot of Final Fantasy games, actually. But, like, look, they put, like, little sticks on the side, and, like, you get, like, a bunch of jelly drink, and, like, look, there's whipped cream and brownies and stuff, and you get a little tiny wafer, or, like, little chocolate piece of Alexander himself. And it looks like there's little, like, wheels that look like, like, gears back there. That's so cute. That's so cute. In America, we had this. In America, we had the Spider Burger. Spider Burger. You, you best look alive. We're gonna look at the Spider Burger now. All right, this was the Spider Burger. All right. Also, half the time they ran out of these buns, so it was just a burger. And also keep in mind, sometimes this was just a burger. Sometimes they would run out of the buns. They'd just be like, oh, sorry. I know you paid $20 for it, but we don't care. And th this is what you get. This is what you get. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Prices are insane. It's crazy. I would love to eat that. Yeah, but it's... but it's gonna be normal colored, maybe. And it's... I, I would want to eat it too, honestly. But this looks better. This looks better over here. Like, this looks better. Come on. Don't... don't be... don't be going like, this looks better than... How dare you? I would try it at least once. Yeah. I'm very sorry, though. The spider burger just had food... yeah. In America, we love our food coloring. A lot of our food coloring is actually illegal to use in Japan because they consider it, like, not approved by the FDA and kind of poison, so that's also not really, um... Uh, that's not great, is it? 
Like that's a that's kind of a that's kind of a red flag for our food. Like our our food dyes are banned in like a lot of different countries. And we just go like, "Well, they're wrong." Well, they're wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, they're wrong. We know what's better here. You say it makes people sick. Well, we say it's delicious and it makes it look at pr it makes it look pretty. It makes it look pretty, I think. Yes. Like that's uh that's kind of what we do. We just <laughs> It's not good, but it's what we do. I don't know. Many artificial colors are carcinogen. Oh, that. Yeah. Wait, really? For sure? For for real? Like we. Okay, there's a couple of places in America where they need to put little like labels on your food saying like this is a known carcinogen. Carcinogen. I guess both are fine, but like, um, poison is okay so long as it doesn't insta kill you. Yep, that's uh that's what our FDA says, I guess. Red 40 has lead in it? Wait, for real? For real. One second. One second. They wouldn't do that. Oh no. Oh, it can make like neurological effects worse. Supposedly. In America, we don't- like, in America, it's like, there's no- there's no precedent for that. In every other country, it's like, there is a lot of precedent for that. In America, we kind of, like, go like, would you do a study for us? We're going to give you two million dollars. Would you do a study for us? Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, we do make that think that you're studying, but would you do a study for us? We'll give you two million dollars? Come on, don't you want two million dollars? Oh, the study said that we were bad for people. Well, we're not gonna give you two million dollars next time. Could you go and restudy it? Oh my god, we would love if you restudied it. It would be so nice of you. Would you restudy it? Please, please, please. And then they restudy it and they go, Oh my goodness, it doesn't hurt anyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mm, you're wonderful. Yes, yes. There you go. There you go. So that's, uh, that's why we sometimes have problems with chemicals in different places. We're like $200. That's true. They don't have to pay people that much. Oh, we are in a society. We are in a society. We are in a society. The American government is like three companies in a trench coat. Oh no. It's kind of true though. We, we live in a really rough place. Oh, we live in a wonderful place, actually. We live in a wonderful place. I love YouTube and I love Amazon. Thank you so much, YouTube and Amazon. California is going to ban Mountain Dew? Wait, really? Whoa, cool. That's interesting. Do they? Do, does California have a different FTA? I don't think they do. Huh. Our study found that product A is perfectly safe, sponsored by product A company. That's exactly what happens. <laughs> There's also, like... <sighs> when I was younger, I don't remember what... I don't remember what it was exactly, but it was like some law where they were like, we're the Farmers Associ Association of America, and you should not support this law that'll make it so animals have more space per animal in farms because it's going to make animals very sad and very upset. All of the farmers are going to have to do all of this horrible stuff to these animals if they have two extra feet of space to move around. And like, I was like, this is so weird. Why are they saying this? Like, why, why would farmers say this? And then I looked into it, and if you look through all of their websites, eventually you get to a thing where it's just like, vote no, or like, vote yes on this one thing. And like, when you look through all of it, if you get to the people's names who funded it, like, on their website, it was all people that were just from, like, agriculture companies that would make a lot of money if, like, they didn't have to do that. They didn't want to spend money on stuff, but they were like, the animals would be so sad. Oh my goodness gracious. Vote no. Vote no. Stuff like that is really common, actually. We have, we have really bad propaganda in America. You have no idea what you're voting for. We have no idea the side effects of half of our medication. Oh, no. We have good surgeons. We have good surgeons. <sighs> it's kind of like most of what we have. I don't know. We have instigate. We have investigated ourselves and found no wrongdoing is exactly what happens each time. Cali is their own entity, are they? Interesting. It do be like that. Modesto. Modesto is like the bad place of California. Not not in a negative way, but like <laughs> I guess in a negative way. Like, you know how every, like, place has the, like, one place where they're like, oh, it's like, oh, like, oh, like, if you live in, like, 
Britain, I forgot what it was like, Liverpool or something? Like, there was like one area that people, it probably wasn't Liverpool, sorry to all Liverpoolians. It was like one area and they were like, oh, I think it was Bermin, Birmingham? Birmingham? Was that it? Are there any people from the UK in the audience, despite the fact that everyone online will maybe make fun of you a little bit sometimes? I, I, I don't want that to happen to you, but... Uh, also, hi, Ruth. Uh... Oh, you you like my Nene? This is my Nene, isn't she cute? This is my confession. Why would you do that, Quirky? Don't do that. I don't know how to delete stuff here. You're, you're, you're not gonna have a I don't know how to delete your YouTube comment, so, uh... Be careful. Um... But anyways, uh, California's, like, kind of rougher place is Modesto, apparently. There's Birmingham for, like, some area in, like, the UK, and there's Modesto for, like, California, and there's, like, there's, like, a bunch of different places for different states. Don't worry, mod team, I'm not plotting any trouble, I'm only lurk- Yes, please, please feel free to lurk, please do not post your full address. I don't know what's there, but, uh, good luck to you. No one go and murder that person, please be nice to them, but... I don't know, I can if you want, I- uh... I don't know. They wanted to. Uh, mm. America is the country of gaslighting. It kind of is. It's kind of messed up. But like every corporation's just like we love you. Well, I mean, okay. Every publicly cor every publicly traded corporation is kind of just like we love you. Oh my goodness, this is so wonderful. Oh my god, we'll make two million dollars if we drop you forever and kill you. So we have to do that. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. We'll make so much money if we do that. Oh my goodness gracious. Like, stuff like that happens pretty consistently. I... I have heard some stories from, like, people where it's just like, Damn, that sucks. Why do people have to be like this? Why... Like, I don't know. Ugh. Can't they be a little nicer to other people? I... I've heard some crazy stories. Should I time them out? I don't know. I, is it common to put your address in YouTube? Like... Stuff like this? Maybe. We have no idea. This is- this is new ground. Maybe we should pin it. I don't know. I have no clue. We've convinced the world that our economic system was the best one. And now it's kind of like getting real rough. Like, capitalism's great for a couple of things. Like, we pretty much have space technology in our hands with our phones. We are from the future. We are from the future. We are from the future. Corporations are not your friends? Yes. Absolutely. When you hear some of the rough stuff that comes out of corporations about, like, just, I don't know, the things that they do to fellas and ladies, it's a little, it's a little rough. But anyways, we have, like, space age technology on our, on our phones and stuff. It's pretty crazy. But, like, we'd probably develop those a lot less quickly if companies weren't trying to make a bunch of money. Maybe? I don't know. So, there's positives with it, too. There's always pros and cons to every situation. Isn't that a meme from Breaking Bad, that address? Oh, okay, great. That's so good. I'm glad that you aren't actually trying to hurt yourself. Too many people aren't very nice, especially when I travel, especially when I hit Japan. Oh, I haven't heard of... I haven't heard Sumimasen so much. Ah. They haven't said Sumimasen to... Is that like, excuse me? I'm so sorry about that. I hope that, um... I hope that everyone can be a bit more polite. I've heard Japan is like a very quiet place. Lobbying is legal because companies lobby to make it legal. Yeah. We have a kind of messed up system. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not going well. Your thoughts on YouTube compared to Twitch? Uh, this is very neat. I like this, actually. I like this because this feels like more of like a stream that I can share with you guys 100%. I like Twitch, too, quite a bit. And, like, I always do try to do streams where I can talk to you guys, but... This is kind of, like, more removed, I guess, from, like the Twitch, like, ecosystem, if that makes sense. It's very weird to say that, but, like, Twitch is kind of like a ecosystem. Like, it has a lot of networking stuff, and it has a lot of, like, making friends with people, and it has a lot of, like, talking to people, and, like, saying hi to people, and, like, a bunch of stuff like that. It's, it's very different. Like, and I've made a lot of really nice friends there, don't get me wrong, but, um, this feels a little bit like you get, like, to relax your brain and just be like, I'm, I'm alone. It's kind of, like, isolating in, like, a nice way. Can VTubers lobby? I'm sure eventually there will be a corporation, like, big enough and corrupt enough to try to change laws. Like, eventually. I don't know about VTubers specifically, but probably streaming. Like, that makes a lot of sense to me. I feel the same way about YouTube feels very separated from Twitch somehow. Yeah, it's interesting. It's really interesting. Very different vibe. Very raids are big. Yeah, people really like raids and stuff, too. But I kind of like it here. It's relaxing. It's kind of nice. It's kind of relaxing. 
Uh, I love your eyes. First time watching you. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna do this then. Sometimes your eyes just glow a mysterious golden yellow and you have to deal with it, you know? That's just life. That's just life, fella. Or madame. Maybe the real stream was the friends we made along the way. Maybe it was. Yes. Maybe it was. Yes. There you go. I feel like YouTube chat is better for chatting because there's far less emote spam in general. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think there's that much emote spam, like, when I stream on Twitch, though, is the thing. Like, we usually just use them to, like, say how we're feeling, like... I think. Like, at least for me. Like, I'll use my friends, like, that are, like, clapping or, like, cute and stuff like that. But it might be slightly different because, uh, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm not that... I'm not, like, gigantic on Twitch. I think after, like, a certain point, you reach a level where no one can, like, really talk to you as clearly. Oh, good night. Have a nice lurk, Mr. Frick. Um, but yeah. Chat becomes spammy, no matter- Yeah, that's the thing. So, like, I'm usually at, like, uh... I don't know, I don't like thinking about it that much. Never pay attention to your CCV as a streamer and you'll have a good time. Never ever do that. You'll feel so much better. I- that is my number one recommendation to you as a human being. You can try to improve yourself, you can ask for criticism, you can do all that stuff, you can like watch other people's streams and go like, what's making this fun? What's making this interesting? And take notes. Never pay attention to your CCV. Ever. Do not do that. You will feel so much better. You will feel like a human being. Do you normally stream here, or dual stream? No, I, uh, I stream on Twitch, like, I guess like six days out of the week usually. This is the first time I've been on YouTube, so maybe I'll do five days there. And then one on Friday here. Because I, I, I'm feeling Friday here. I'm feeling Friday. I'm feeling Friday. It's kind of, it's kind of, I feel Friday. I feel the energy of Friday. Coming into my body to, uh, to like, you know. Friday, Friday, it's, it's the, it's coming into my mind. The, the essence of Friday. Yeah. What's CCV? Uh, how do you... I don't actually know what it stands for. Uh... Con... Concurrent viewership? Concurrent viewership? But why is that two Cs? Concurrent viewership, I think. I think it's concurrent viewership and it just means, like, people that watch you consistently and, like, what your... What the amount of people watching you is. It gives a lot of VTubers, like, really bad brainworms. You should never look at it. It will- it will destroy you. I've seen so many people get really freaked out about it. Like, really upset about it. Like, they'll start to go like, I can't stream this. People don't like this. What if I stream this? People will like me more. What if they hate me? Blah, 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 blah. So, like, yeah. Thank you so much. There is, like, quite a bit of like here, though. Concurrent viewers, concurrent viewers, concurrent viewers. Friday night song from Yakuza. Yeah! It's Friday in California. I like that little, um, clip too. There's no PogChamp emoji on YouTube. We should all move over to Twitch. What's... Didn't they have to remove that one? Because that guy had, like, a really rough year. Like, I think I remember this. They had to take the guy that was pogging off of, like, Twitch. I can talk about that here. Cool. Okay, so they had to take the guy that was, like, pogging off of Twitch as, like, a global emote. Which is scary, but, like... Apparently, he was, like, starting to have, like, a mental health thing, I think. And, like, he was starting to say some kind of weird stuff. And, you know. Good clip? I don't know what it was, but good luck. The big ones with, uh, 10k to 20k? Okay, the, the big ones with 10k to 20k viewers, they're usually going through it. I very rarely seen a situation where, like, people at that level aren't, like, constantly freaking out. <laughs> like, not in a mean way, it's just, like, at that level, people are having a really hard time. A really hard time. N not that it's for real, nothing's wrong with it, but it's- it can get very... Uh, how do I put this? She's so out of touch. I- I'm not out- yeah, I am kind of pretty out of touch, but, um... But no, I really mean it with, like, the bigger streamers. Like, I won't name any names, but there's some ones where their content kind of turns into, like, needing to consistently do intense stuff. And if they do enough intense stuff, they can make it onto the news and, like, gossip websites and stuff. And if they make it onto the news and gossip websites, people will be like, oh my god, this guy sucks, they're horrible, they're horrible. And then what happens there is people go like, why are they horrible? And then they go and watch them. 
that's people's style of doing stuff. Like, and I'm not saying like if you ever have like trouble and people are talking about you or if you make it on the news for something bad, you're a bad person. It's just, it is a style of like building viewership to be very, very, very controversial. Like very controversial. I'm not talking about like people having slightly different opinions than like other people. I'm talking about like people trying to consistently break rules and go crazy and like just try to start fights with other streamers, like con st constantly doing stuff like that. Like that's, that's something people do. And it gets a lot of people to look at them. And those guys, I think, are the ones going the most insane. I honestly am really, really worried about them. They held a public vote and Twitch chat decided on mobile hype to replace PogChamp over all the custom streamer PogChamps. Oh, that's so sad. Well, I'm, I'm, I hope that nature can heal eventually. All publicity is good publicity online and they exploit that. Yeah, well, that's the thing. That's the thing. It really is true. Like, if someone goes like, if someone's just like, yeah, that guy, he's he's disgusting. Yeah, he 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 turned out to be crazy. Like what he was doing is he went to this other guy's stream and he went like, you smell terrible. I hope you explode. You deserve nothing in life. And ever and he meant it. He meant it. Yeah, yeah. I I just I yeah. I heard about that. That's true. Yeah. And if people say that in a bunch of different places, people will go like, whoa, that's that's intense. I gotta go see what that's about. And then they'll stay there watching them because they want to see them act up. And people like make a lot of money that way, so uh, I'm not gonna name any names, but people can make a lot of money that way. Uh, also, hello, Fenrir. How are you? you? You doing well? You doing well? It's why the news covers negativity and drama. It's quick, cheap views. Not ideal, but people just want a high view count sometimes. Yeah, I mean, this is it's oh, we live in a society. It's also how it works on Twitter, because the thing is like. These days, if a news company, like, they don't really have, like, people that go, like, we love your station. We want to, we want to sponsor your station and make sure that they're doing okay. We don't really have any, like, just passive neutral people that do that anymore. Uh, like, there's, there's some, like, I think NPR kind, uh, NPR is pretty, they take large donations from some people, though, and that influences them. But, like, there's a couple, maybe, but, like, for the most part... They have to make money to stay in business by getting people to look at them because advertisements are what people will see on their website. So if you write an article saying like, Final Fantasy Rebirth, good game, people will go, yeah, okay. I, I, I agree. I, I don't need to click this, but if you... S <laughs> this is an example. Um, if you make an- if you make an article called Final Fantasy VII Rebirth racist, like, a million people will click on it to start arguing with that person. Hi, Dad. Hello, son. Navi, how you doing? I miss you. There's my little boy. There's my little boy. Or girl. I'm a progressive parent. I'm a progressive parent. I love you all the same. Um... But yeah, that's why they do that kind of stuff. Like, they probably don't honestly believe Final Fantasy VII Rebirth racist, but like, the thing is, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth racist? That's gonna make them a lot more money. Uh, RE5 racist? Was there actually a argument for Resident Evil 5? Oh, that was actually. Uh, okay, they, they kind of pushed it on the original RE5, but, but we don't have to talk about that. Last of Us 2? Last of Us 2 got into such a heap of a mess recently, I think. Like, um... I won't go into that, but they- they got- Neil Druckmann said some stuff. They got into a heap of a mess. I didn't like that they had an article saying you don't have to kill a dog, and then when you played the game you had to kill a dog. Sorry for spoiling it for you, I was really angry about that, it ruined my day. Anyways. Um... Did- Dad, Grimmy, can we hang out with Aunt Barry? Um... I can't raid her from here. <laughs> is she streaming? I can't raid her from here is the thing! I'm sorry! We can't hang out with Barry right now. Unless Barry, like, wants to come hang out with me physically, like, right here. I can't really do much. Barry's so sweet, though. I know not a lot of you guys are on Twitch, but Barry's wonderful. Barry Bug. She's this very sweet person, one of my buddies. Uh, imagine being racist reading that and thinking, Fuck! <laughs> no! No! There can't be the- No! That's so sad to think about. No! There probably was at least one person out there going, like, Oh, she ended all. Uh, but there probably was one person out there thinking like, yeah, finally, but, uh. No. But that's also the thing with Twitter. Have you ever, like, been on Twitter 
and like you see something where it's just like mother of five saves a child from a freeway like this child was going to be killed instantly by several trucks but the mother ran on and saved the child and now she she returned the child to the family what happened was this young boy was kidnapped mother of five saves child she's a perfect person she's worked very hard she's very sweet no one has anything bad to say about her like then if you go scroll down on twitter and you just see a comment that's just like i wish that she got hit by the truck and the child also like died like and you're just like, why would they say this? This is so stupid. Why? Why would they do this? <laughs> why would they do this? Oh god! It's because if they have a blue check mark, what'll happen is they can have views from that. And if they get enough views, they will make money. So if you have a very polarizing opinion, you will make money. <laughs> Twitter is really messed up right now. Twitter is really messed up for that reason. Blue check mark. I have one so like people can communicate with me. Like you can't DM people unless you have a blue check mark, so it's kind of messed up. But I sometimes need to do that for other VTubers, so uh it kind of sucks though. But like the thing is, if you have very intense things to say, people will like go to your comment and interact with it going, that Women should not die. You're stupid. Why would you say that? There's nothing- You're a bad person. Shut up. And like a hundred people will say that, and a hundred people will like quote tweet it going like, this person sucks. And then each time, someone sees it. And each time, they get a little bit more money. So that's why people do that. They can get a lot of money. And it's really messed up. It kind of has destroyed the internet a little bit. So Final Fantasy VII racist, and that mother should have died on the freeway. Those are the opinions that get most, um... Uh, Interaction and get boosted a lot. So that's- I don't know. Yeah, rage bait. Rage bait works on every level. It's pretty intense. There's a good reason why I don't use Twitter. Yeah, it's- it can get really rough there. Isn't that a setting you can turn off? Uh, like the blue check mark? I think I can have it turned off. Probably. I'll look into it. Farm- like, the only time it turns off is when I, like, update, like, my little bio, I think. But there's probably, like, an option. I don't- you, you saw how hard it was for me to turn on raids. I- I don't really go through those options too much on websites. Do you- didn't find it strange- oh. Don't you find it strange that t teens sit here gaming and watching TikTok and social media, but 50 years ago they were revolutionizing computers, cars, etc. Fighting in wars and more. I think people still do that a little bit. It's just, um... Also good night, sleep time, Waddle. Uh... Dead internet theory vibes? Oh yeah, one of my friends actually saw that and like did like a big tweet on it, like Mako? Uh, she was telling us about that and then like... She found a bunch of stuff- it's really weird, like... Okay, so... Let me see if I can find- I can ask her for it actually, she probably has it, but like... The thing is... There's this really weird thing where there's these accounts that kind of exist completely through AI and just like... Scripts and stuff, I guess. I, maybe that's the right word? I don't know too much about it, but like they just kind of... They kind of exist and reply to each other and get views for each other and kind of like... Take up like a lot of the internet. Yeah, bot accounts and they're all communicating with each other. Sometimes they even have like photos that they take from other accounts. Like... Independently and they just look like a person and tweet like a person. And they tweet very similarly to like a person. But then you look a little bit closer, and like 20 people are gonna be tweeting the same exact thing with the same exact grammar. And those are bot accounts. And it's really weird, but they just have a bunch of Twitter blue bot accounts because they've realized they can make money with this weird ecosystem that's in place. From like visibility giving you more money, it's really strange. Have you seen the Twitter- seen Twitter for AIs? I have seen a little bit of like them interacting with each other, it's strange. Oh, you need an account to see anything on there. Oh yeah, you need an account to like be on Twitter. It's it's really interesting, but I guess it's more like about like um. They probably want to have like an active user because that looks better for like their marketing stuff. Like if they can go like we have this many people signed up that are active, like that makes it look better for them. So, I guess the bot accounts are actually kind of helping them, which is probably why they're just hanging out. It's it's a weird thing. This is the most boring dystopia? Yeah, I mean, we have Amazon, though. We can at least order candy. Like, anytime you want candy, you can order it. That's cool. 
You can have any type of candy you want tomorrow or like in a week most. It's kind of... Uh, I don't know. There's not a lot of good stuff to look forward to and other than that. Bots inflate ad views. Exactly. So they don't, probably don't want to get rid of them. The bots are benefiting from it. Like the people that make like the 10 cents for every like $3 they make. <coughs> it's really weird. It's really weird. And yeah, they want active users. So like more and more places are going to be like that. Also because like hosting costs are getting like expensive because there's just a lot of people on the internet and stuff. Oh well. I just ordered Gu Gundam model kits? Yeah! There you go. I have quite a few of those too. I also have the Metal Gears. Oh, I love Metal Gear Solid. Oh, it's my favorite. Oh, my favorite series. Oh! I don't know, Candy is pretty great. It's true. It's true. Candy's got those poison dyes. Alright. Yeah, this is the worst soy- oh, Not soy latte, sorry! This is the worst dystopia. Sorry, I wanted to say your name. I like soy lattes. Sorry. I recently started a journey to avoid using Amazon whenever possible since it's such a crud show nowadays. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know what can be done at this point. Like, it kind of feels like it's over-encompassing. Amazon's kind of like this huge entity that like just runs so much of our life and like a lot of people could like not exist without it Like some of them can't really get around as much. A lot of people are very reliant on it. Ooh Are you a fan of Death Stranding? Oh, yeah, I love Death Stranding. I love Metal Gear and I love Death Stranding I love it. I love it. And David Hayter is actually um, involved in a uh, Metal Gear Solid again I forgot about that this morning I was so happy this morning. I woke up. This has been an amazing year, but like, I it, I don't know. Everything feels like it's going right. But like, I woke up and it felt like, oh my god, this is the best timeline in the universe. David Hayter is back in like, working on Metal Gear Solid related stuff. <gasps> Yo! It makes me so happy. I was, I was freaking out. It was so good. Gonna head to bed. Good night, Karin. Thank you for coming by. Oh, it's been three and a half hours. Uh... I should probably end soon. Also, I didn't think it would be a long stream. Um. Oh, it's 9.24. Oh, wow. Dang. Okay, well, uh... Huh. Wow. Uh, a lot of time passed very quickly. Thank you guys for being here. I'm, I'm gonna stream for a little bit more, but, um... Metal Gear Solid has the- Yes, Metal Gear has the best memes. Have you seen- Have you seen the- It's a Russian taunt one. That one's one of- That one's iconic now. Revengeance? I haven't played Revengeance. I only played half of Revengeance. I played every Metal Gear Solid game besides it. I'm a fake Raiden fan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Also, hello, man E Major. It's surprised to see you here? Yeah, I want to try out YouTube once a week now. It seems like a very nice relaxing place. Grimmy the Yap Queen. Makes me sound like a Pomeranian or something, but I'll take it. We loved every second Grimmy. Well, that's very nice of you to say. It was very nice of you to, like, come by. It was very nice of you to hang out here. I really enjoyed this. I really did. I just joined. You seem cool. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna be here every Friday, I think. Like, probably around the same time, like 6 p.m. Maybe a little earlier if I have something I gotta do later that night. How are you able to talk like this without your voice going out? Um, well, afterwards I drink a ton of water. And then I don't really talk to anyone. <laughs> After this, I just don't do much. I stream a lot, and then I just go and I lay down and I think, ah. That's it. Do you prefer yap yapping or waffling? What's waffling? Waffling sounds cool. Have you decided what food you'll want to talk about next stream? Uh... I think so. I think we're gonna look up the best bean burrito recipes, the best falafels, the best uh, Japanese curry. Uh, I have a note that's just, uh, don't boil meat. We can look up what we can, uh, buy for hot pot. And noodles and stir fry. I think those will be a good start. You talk to kittens, right? Yeah, I do talk to the cats and stuff, but... That's like, hello, baby. And less a little bit like, um, you know, talking for three hours straight, so... That sounds relaxing. I'm very excited for it. That'll be over on Twitch, though. Um, I'll be back here on Friday next week, and I guess I'll, um... What could we play here? I don't want it to like interrupt any of like the Twitch stuff because like I don't want it to be something people miss because they usually watch it on Twitch or vice versa. I guess next week we'll figure out what game to play um, consistently because I think I've had this in the gaming category the whole time, which is not good. Uh, I should have put this on a different category like blogs or people, I guess, and that would have confused a lot of people, but it's fine. There was a tweet of someone being complimented by their hairstylist and then realizing they were wearing their shirt. That's a printout of the Russian taunt form thread. 
That's so good. That's so good. I love that shirt. I love that shirt. I love that shirt. That is the best shirt ever to be made. Uh, did you like the newer Metal Gear? Five? Or Survive? Or Delta? Like the one coming out? I'll play them all, honestly. Um, I need to play Survive, actually, too. Coffin of Andy and Lele seems to be making the rounds. I played that on Twitch, though. We're, we're caught up on that. I, I need to figure something out. We'll figure out something interesting. Because they can do voice acting streams, too. Like, I can do a bunch of different voices at the same time. So, like, I think it's going to be really fun if we can do something like that. So, that'll be probably a good idea to figure out. I love that shirt. I love that shirt. Revengeance. We could play Revengeance on here. That's a good idea, actually. What am I thinking? Thank you. I don't see a category. Then I really messed up. I don't know how YouTube works. <laughs> oh, well. It's fine. Everyone, thank you for coming by. Uh... Uh, I have a collaboration with Pastel Melon, if you guys want to see that. And, uh, I have a code for gamer subs that is grimy. If you buy stuff from gamer subs, they're coming up with something to make you sleep. Which I'm excited for because I don't sleep enough. I want to be unconscious. I don't want their awake powder, I want their unconscious powder. Although it might have red 40 in it. It probably doesn't have red 40 in it, I'll check. Sorry if it has red 40 in it. Is she leaving? I think I am. But I appreciate you coming by. Gura's bull shark. What? What is? What is a bull shark? Bull shark. One second. I have to look this up. Oh, we could play De Devotion actually. I love horror games. Oh, they're so nice. Oh my God! Why is someone shooting one with a gun in this? That's horrible. When you look at bull shark, it's very. Uh, anyways, um, we don't need to end on that. Everyone, thank you so much for coming by. First time seeing you live. Well, that's very kind of you. Thank you so much for coming by. YouTube algorithm led you here. I'm currently watching your Grimmy experience. Oh, that's very embarrassing. I'm hoping you're enjoying it. Oh my goodness gracious, that's quite scary. Thank you. Thank you. There should be caffeine, less gamer stuff. There is actually. No, they, they made a they made a sleepy one. They, they made it today. It just came out. Although the sleepy... Sorry for saying this curse word, but I just think it's cute to call them this. The sleepy bitches cup is already sold out. I really wanted the sleepy bitches stuff. I really wanted the Sleepy Bitches Pants and the Sleepy Bitches Cup, but that stuff sold out, like, within 10 minutes. Just how it is with the better cups, so... It is what it is. I'm a little disappointed about that, but... But they have the Sleepy Bitches Powder. So, if you guys want some Sleepy Bitches Powder, you can use code GRIMMY at gamersups. Uh... Uh... GG dot com? That... One second? <laughs> I'm really bad at advertising stuff. What, g dot gg. Dot gg. Gamersubs.gg. Okay, there we go. Gamersubs.gg. Okay. I'm gonna- I'm gonna link the pastel loan stuff. I'm actually really excited about this merchandise. I got a- I got a collaboration with someone that does a lot of cute VTuber merchandise. So I'm gonna- I'm gonna link it one more time. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. But thank you guys for being here. How do we raid? I have no idea if I can raid anyone. Is there like a way to check for like people that you can raid? What do I do? If anyone would... I don't know how to do that. I, I guess I can't, actually. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna not try to do this today. Oh, thank you very much, Yama. I appreciate that. I, um... Bye, chat. Bye, Thank you so much for coming by. I'll be back next Friday. I'll try to stream a little bit on YouTube, because I actually really enjoyed this. You're trying, and I appreciate you. She'll more... Thank you very much. Oh, there's also, um, Retro Game Repair Shop. Retro Game Repair Shop. CDM? Oh, we might be able to raid someone. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, one second. One second, one second. We might be able to raid someone. Manual raid if you can't? Oh, that's true. Do you guys want to just go to, like, um... Uh... uh let's see. What, why isn't Discord opening? Discord, please open. Discord, please open! Discord, I need you to do this for me, please. Okay, there we go. Okay. Alright. Um... Okay. So, to raid someone... Click the edit button. The edit button where? Um, what? Okay, uh, that. sorry, this is not, <laughs> this is not good. Okay, why is it like this? This is, like, really hard to figure out. Thank you so much for coming by, you guys. Sorry for, sorry for making our goodbye a little bit, uh, silly. Okay, I think I figured it out. You click this. You click on... <laughs> edit? Okay, you edit the live stream. I think this is the right place. Click customization. 
Under redirect, add click. We're not rating anyone. I need to figure... <laughs> We're not rating anyone. Tattletale's a good game. We're not rating anyone today. Um, If you'd like to, please go check out a nice streamer that you'll have a nice time with. Or just, you know, relax and have a good night. Uh, I'm streaming on Twitch most of this week, and I'll be back on Friday. I'll be back on Friday. It'll be very fun on Friday. We might play some horror games, or maybe I'll... I don't know, we'll figure something out. I've been really into Voices of the Void lately, by the way. Voices of the Void is a really good game. Maybe I can start a second save. No, but then people won't see it. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Thanks for the stream. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope that you have a very nice one. I hope that you have a very nice one. You could pin a link as a comment. Okay, let's... Let's see if we can find a little VTuber on Twitch Or YouTube, on YouTube. Do you guys know any smaller VTubers on YouTube streaming right now? It's kind of hard to find streams on YouTube, it looks like. Live, live. Uh, oh, Hollow has got their stuff going on. Or, um, there's... Oh, there's me! There's me! I can see myself on the live page! Whoa! I'm recommended to myself, that's so cool! Uh, let's see. Oh, there's, uh, there's Emmy. It looks like Emmy from Face Connect is streaming. Here, let me, let me just grab a link for it. Here we go. You have a lovely one, too. Everyone, please go check out Emmy. You don't need to, like, do a raid message. You just might enjoy her. She's one of the Phase Connect ladies. She's a very lovely lady. I, I haven't actually interacted with her, but I'm sure she's a very lovely lady. Can someone pin this? I don't know. Okay, wait. Oh, Seiyu's on too? Seiyu's also very lovely. Um, well, she's playing Yakuza 0, though. Yakuza 0 is amazing. If you guys haven't played it, it'll change you as a human being. Not as much as Metal Gear Solid will, though. Metal Gear Solid will really change you. Are we raiding, Grimmy? Nope. Uh, you can go and click that link if you want. I am not good at doing this, and I will figure out how to raid someone next time. Have a nice night, Grimmie. Thanks for the stream. Thank you very much for being here, Jesus with the capital G. I don't know how I pinned your comment, but I haven't been able to pin any of the other ones, so thank you very much for being here. All of you have a very nice night, and, um, I guess I'll just leave. This feels very strange, not raiding. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go. Uh, manual YouTube raid to the link. Yeah, if you guys want to go check her out, she's very sweet. Um, no, no, the, the Face Connect girls are very kind. Like, they're a little bit quirky, but they're very lovely people. They don't, they don't come from mental institutions. And even if they did, people go through rough stuff in their life. They're very nice people. I like them. No one's perfect. No one's perfect. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. It was very nice to meet a lot of you, and it was very nice to see all of you that came by from Twitch. Thank you so much. I'll be on Twitch tomorrow playing... Talking about food. We're gonna try to figure out cheap food recipes. I did not do a lot of uh, prep for that with the stream. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Music's about to get really different.